swear that someday I'll tell you without lying I was born to quit smoking I was born to quit dying On that day Not doing heroin Will be easy as pissing On that day I'll stop talking so much shit About the government Cause urine speaks louder than words On a politician Or on a prison warden Urine speaks louder than words
make me at least look semi presentable. There we go. Oh, hmm. cut myself shaving. Anyway, uh, what's up, y'all? Uh, it's a it's a low start, but it's a Friday. Oh yeah, it's a low start. Holy shit! But hopefully it won't be weird like last night. Usually the nighttime low starts is when it gets fucking weird. Oh god, we had some dummies last night. Anyway, uh Friday, Friday, Friday. We're finally we're done with another one. We're done with a fucking another one. Oh, is there anything I want to actually talk about? What's up, Cassie? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it looks it, Russia's gonna invade Ukraine. Uh, I mean that's. My name's Kai, by the way, gamer nerd. You can just call me Kai if you so choose, K A I. But either way, I'll respond to both. Um, I'm adequate. I didn't get a proper workout in. So, uh, hey, there's the fucking bot. Dude, that bot is even slower than my notify button. Oh, well. Um, either way. I don't think there's any news that I really wanted to cover. Um, oh, Hades on strike. Like, Hades, like, sweatshop workers, basically. What's up, Bobby? Um, thanks for the resub, my man. Oh, but yeah, there's no headlines. I mean, fucking Ukraine thing's kicking off, but we knew that last night from the tank fire. Um, the Netherlands sent sniper rifles, radars, uh, radar helmets, and vests to Ukraine um, ahead of the invasion. So even the Netherlands is putting a little bit of skin in the game. Not real skin, but they're putting some treasure rather than lives. <clears throat> Um, oh, yeah, 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 the, um, the Mexican woman, I did want to just offhandedly me mention that, um, uh, Mexican woman was in, um, Qatar, by the way, what, why, why, why was there, um, like, why, <laughs> um, if uh, what about the name of uh, oh god uh, uh, Paulo Sadas, um, she was there uh, working on um, some subset of the organizing committee for the World Cup, and she was raped. Um, yeah, yeah, she she was um, she was raped. So Qatar did what Qatar does. They sentenced her to a hundred lashings and seven years in prison for the crime of daring to be raped in their country by their shit men. What's up, Stellar? Um, there's been a few of those nonsense. Um, so... Yeah, um, usually we just deport them to uh, Mexico, though. There's a, an encampment of deportees that uh, used to actually work for us, uh, soldiers, that are uh, right on the border. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so Qatar, can, uh, Qatar is holding on to a Mexican national who was on the organizing, one of the sub uh, subcommittees for the organizing committee for the uh, World Cup. Um, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna beat the shit out of her and put throw her in jail for seven years because one of their shithole fucking men who believes that bullshit ass backwards bullshit um, raped the fuck out of her and that's their punishment for rape in Qatar is the man gets away with it and the woman gets beaten and imprisoned because you know all culture is equal. I'm tired. It's a Friday. I'm calling it like I see it. Sorry. Um, I mean, we victimize rape, rape victims here all the time, right? We, we victimize them, but it's rare that I've, I, I, I don't think I've heard about someone in the U S being given a hundred lashes 
and being thrown in jail for seven years for being the victim of a rape in my lifetime, at least, I mean, I could be proven wrong. There may be a, an outlier case there, but I'm pretty sure that like that's um, <clears throat> kind of unique and to the purview of that portion of the world and that portion of ideology and belief systems of that portion of the world. Um, yes. Uh Che, yeah. Yeah, we were we victimize rape victims here all the time. Um, and Cassidy was right there with it. Yeah, we know we use their DNA to charge them with other crimes. Um So yeah. Um No, she reported it. She reported it. Um, and as such, she was accused of an extramarital relationship. That's... Um, yeah. So, yeah, she, she reported it to the police. Um, and like all traditional locations involving the police just made it go from bad to worse. Ugh. Cops in the U.S., cops in Qatar, it's just degrees. They're all, they're all cops. But yeah, she went to the police and, you know, she got it medically documented as well. But yeah, she went to the police and was like, hey, I was raped by one of your citizens. And they said, you slept with one of our citizens? And she said, no, I was raped. And they said, yeah, you slept with them. And so they threw her ass in jail and they're going to beat the fuck out of her. And keep her in jail for seven years. Dude, if I were fucking Mexico, I'd start some shit. I'd start some shit. Like, I, I, I get it. Qatar's got money and oil and shit like that. But holy fuck. Somebody needs to start some shit with some of these people. <laughs> like, dude, I, I wish we were, like, old school still like that. Like, somebody needs to fucking, like, go roam on their asses when they do this shit. Like, you dare not touch one of our citizens' territory. Right? Like, claim world, true worldwide jurisdiction. Right? And just... We're holding on to one of your citizens. She was, uh, she was accused of an extramarital affair. We heard she was raped. And if you don't let her go this instant, we're going to bomb your country back to the stone. Oh, wait. It already is in the stone age. Never mind. We're just going to flatten your fucking country. Now let our fucking person go. Now, please. Like, yeah. Somebody, like, somebody needs to fucking put some of these shithole countries in check. And that includes ours sometimes. If we... Fucking, you know, feel free. <laughs> like, yeah, but somebody needs to do some shit. Uh, uh, thanks for letting me know that I need to check the law of the country I'm in before I let them know that my bodily autonomy was infringed. Uh, yeah, no, Crimson, that's a very real thing you need to do. Uh, by the way, you shouldn't be traveling in Qatar anyway. There's no reason to go to Qatar, to, to UAE, to fucking Iraq, to Afghanistan, to Syria, to... Iran to, oh God, um, oh, Israel, eh, Israel to a certain extent as well, um, let's see, oh, 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 Morocco even, oh God, a whole host of African countries, um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of places on this planet, there is absolutely no reason to travel there because if you are woman or lgbtq in any way shape or form congratulations chances are you're going to end up dead or imprisoned or both um yeah i know right Che? uh unless you're loaded and have connections just stay out um was that north korea yeah maybe that was north korea cupcake Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I miss those, like, it, it was, you know, those, like, Roman days of, like, stating I am a Ro Roman citizen when you fuck up somewhere else and, like, literally all of the pr legal proceedings of that nation state just stop on a dime and they contact a Roman ambassador because, come get your person, we don't want to fuck up and have Rome invade us for trying one of their citizens, Right? Like, there's, there's, look, it's all fucking authoritarian dickhead bullshit, right? It's all made up bullshit and it's all fucked up. But if it's gonna be fucked up, you might as well get a, like, a win occasionally, right? Like, it'd be hilarious if fucking, um, Qatar did that shit to uh, to one of Mexico's citizens and Mexico just flies a, a fighter squadron over there and takes out some shit. Right? Like, what the fuck? You raped one of our citizens and now you're holding on to her, going to throw her in jail for seven years and want to subject her to a hundred lashes for it. <sighs> Fuck your shit. Right? Like that be... How is that not fair play? Jesus goddamn Christ. Somebody put these fucking Middle Eastern countries in check for this shit. Like, again, somebody, you know, we are certainly without sin in this country and God knows we could use a gut check on some of this shit. But I mean, fuck me. We're not, we're not get doling out lashes to rape victims yet. We're just forcing them to have the rape baby with their fucking incest baby of uh, like daddy brother. Looking at you, Texas, Georgia, Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, and probably both of the Carolinas, Virginia, West Virginia, Louisiana. Uh, sorry. Anyway. Um, God, I'm just in a vengeful mood today. Just in a vengeful mood today. Um, Louisiana still has clinics? For now. <clears throat> Oh, has, is nothing about the Saudi, just done nothing about, oh yeah, no, uh, that's Saudi Arabia, our allies in peace. Credit where credit's due if you know the reference. Um, so did everybody see, uh, Facebook's manager of community development get caught trying to fuck a little kid? That's, that was, there's a thing that happened. That, that, that is a thing that happened. The video made the rounds. I posted it on shared content earlier today. But, yeah. F F Facebook's uh, manager of community development, uh, uh, J one Jaron A. Miles, was caught in an amateur child sex sting. Um, the YouTube channel Predator Catchers um, caught up with him and had a little chat in a hotel room. Where he thought he was going to go to bang an un, uh, a youngin. Uh. Oh yeah, nonsense! I said it right at the top of the show. I just could have glossed over it. It's fucking, dude. It, yeah. Again. Um. Yeah. Oh, uh, we could watch it. I mean, if you want to watch the video. Fucking. Um, it's like two minutes, three minutes, something like that. Well, that's what you get. Nonsense. That's what you get. So you're telling this 13 year old boy that he makes you horny, correct? Could be perceived as such, yes. Oh, quit. How's that for an opening to a video? So you've been telling this 13 year old boy that he makes you horny. It could be perceived as such. Yes. The bullshit, bro. I'm sick of your bullshit. I won't have any restraint around you if I'm horny. What does that mean? It means I was flirting. I was talking to him. Throughout all of this, I, I'll let you know I, there was never any intention of ever meeting up with him. Okay. Well, <laughs> you're sitting in a hotel room right now, homie. You're sitting in a hotel room. <laughs> oh. But you did set two meets with him. That I never intended to go to 
or but you set it up. To. Correct. I never intended to go to, but I'm sitting right here. I I give oh, information, and location, and all that stuff. Yes, I mean, this is, yeah, it's yeah. painful. It's all I got to pull this out of my ass. It's true. You gave the, I, you gave the hotel and the hotel room. Right. So you set the meets. So you're okay with talking sexual online as long as you don't meet the children. This is the one time I've done this. The only time. Okay, so you are okay to talk sexual to 13-year-old Corey because you knew in your head that you would not meet up with him. That, that was my rationale. Okay. He asked you what you did. Why would you answer any of these questions? How the fuck are you this dumb? How the fuck are you this dumb? Shut the fuck up. Right? Like, just dumb as fuck. Homie, why are you doing an interview? Like, what the fuck, man? He's, yeah, this dude's fucking stupid and evil. I'm the head of global community development for Meta. That's a pretty fucking good job, right? It was. Huge. Right? You make good money, right? Um, what, what was the title again? I mean, what is your official title? Manager of Community Development. And you said... He just gave his title. They asked his fucking title. What was your title again? Make out with you, touch you, suck you. Is that what you said? I did. You said that to a 13-year-old boy? I did. Ugh. He said my cousin or Uber. He said Uber would be expensive. He said my cousin's rich. He doesn't care. He owes me. He said, ha ha, that would be crazy. And you're talking to this other boy. Can I see a pic of him? Why do you want to see a pic of him? just want to see what it looks like. Part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff. We were hoping that this 13-year-old somehow got a ride here and somehow got up here. And you were gonna push Jay. it. Yeah. You were gonna be like, yeah, I'll come get you, come that. You were doing that. Use an easy mark. Maybe because you're scared to get caught or something. But you were praying, hoping that this boy would show up knocking on your fucking door. That's why you gave him the address. You gave him the room number. Well, let me say, you're a very evil man, okay? You might not remember it, which is bullshit, because I know you're fucking lying. But you fucking hurt somebody. Probably more than one person. This isn't your first fucking time. Yeah. This isn't my first time catching fucking pieces of shit like you. By your verbiage, little boy, it's illegal, little boy. This ain't your first fucking time. Everyone, Jaron A. Miles, the um, manager of community development for Facebook. Um, last I had seen, he still has his job. I, I would say he's the former manager of community development for Facebook, but from what I understand, he's not yet the former manager of community development for Facebook. So, Jeremy Miles, everyone. Oh, nope, never mind. Never mind. He got axed. He got axed. I'm, I'm seeing it now. Yep. He, he in fact, um, fucking TechCrunch is reporting on it. Yes. He's, he's, um, he is no longer uh, in the employ of the parent company. It, he was. Uh, Meta, the parent company of Facebook, has confirmed to TechCrunch at this time that Jaron A. Miles, who was the manager of global community development, is no longer employed at the company. So there you go. Um... Well, you see, here's the problem, Crix. The chain of evidence has been tainted. The problem is that amateur, like, sex sting operations fuck up the legal proceedings. It's very difficult to get a conviction off of a crime 
that's been uncovered and used in one of these YouTube amateur sex sting channels. And Canada has complained about it. The UK has complained about it. It's they fuck up the evidence for the uh, for the court proceedings. So it's going to be especially difficult to get a, any type of conviction. Increased attention to him maybe by law enforcement. Um, but yeah, it's it's they the chain of the chain of custody has been broken. So, whoops. Yeah, oh yeah, Cricks, that wasn't the cops. It was some fucking YouTube fucking amateur sex sting shit that they caught him. Uh, fucking predator catchers on YouTube. So, there you go. All right, clearly you are obsessed with talking about something that we are not talking about. What? Um, okay. Oh, well, I mean, they're already falling. Look for uh, Facebook Meta to be downgraded. They're already like they lost their top ten slot, and they're gonna keep sliding. Oh. Is there any other headlines I wanted to talk about? I mean, there's the 19 Austin police officers who were charged for abuses during the George Floyd protests. Um, apparently, one of them is a Texas House candidate, guy by the name of Justin Berry. He's one of the Austin police officers indicted on ex excessive force charges. Running for a Texas House. So he'll probably get elected. Honestly, he'll probably get elected. That he he could probably coast on that. Um, oh, uh, the London Economic reported a uh, sig sign post. Si no, it's signpost. It's signpost, Kai. Uh, C i g n p o s t signpost. Um, C <laughs> again, C i g n. Um, apparently, it's a um, COVID testing firm in Europe, stand somewhere, maybe in the UK, um, that sells 35 pound tests for uh, people going on holiday and shit. Apparently, they then use the DNA from your swab to sell that to third parties. Not kidding. It's being reported in the London Economic Times. Uh, this fucking company that has been doing COVID testing for like British holiday goers has been then utilizing the fucking DNA from those COVID tests and selling it to third parties for a variety of purposes. Yeah. Uh, that's why I never got a DNA test. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing. Cloning. <laughs> Cloning. Um, and... We talked about Astral, and I talked about this this morning. Uh, the U.S. okayed selling $6 billion worth of tanks and other military aid to Poland. Poland put in the request last year. It's nothing It's nothing new. Um, I checked. The uh, Ministry of Defense for Poland uh, filed an official uh, letter of request uh, last year, and the DOD over here just approved it. Um so, six billion dollars worth of Abrams and other gear. Yeah, tech support, we mentioned it. in Already, like, in relation to um, a Qatari rape story. <laughs> uh, and, um... The Fed, the Fed's going to ban its officials from trading stocks, bonds, and other cryptocurrencies. Probably not the wa and probably not the spouses. I was going to say wives and husbands, but probably not the spouses of um, its officials, because that loophole we already know fucking exists. I mean, Jesus, goddamn Christ. Uh, and is there anything else I wanted to fucking? Is today Lucio's birthday? Yeah, today uh, today is Lucio Artubia. Uh, uh, Artubia. Um, 
Um, um, his birthday. He's the uh, Spanish expropriator we talked about the other night when somebody asked about him. Today's actually his birthday, which is probably why that dude was asking about him last week. This week. Either way. Um... Oh, the, um, the fucking, um, uh, what's the, uh, the fucking Dante, uh, Dante Wright, um, the stupid twat who killed him, uh, who was convicted of, um, what's her fucking name, Potter, um, Kim Potter, um, the, the dumb twat that was convicted of first degree and second degree manslaughter for killing Dante, uh, um, and when it, she's the dumb cunt who drew her uh, gun instead of her fucking taser, like everybody remembers that. Like that's okay. So that's Dante, right? Kim Potter is the dumb cunt who fucking pulled her taser instead of her gun, supposedly, and fucking shot Dante, right? Okay, that's that's the shooting we're talking about. She got convicted of first degree and second degree manslaughter. Um, she got two years. Two years. I <laughs> as well it's something yeah it's not good it's not good I uh, it's it's not a good look um it's fucking I I have a quote somewhere here hold on uh Of, here's the here's the judge. Here's the judge. Of all the jobs in public service, police officers have the most difficult one. Keep in mind, this is a senten sentencing of a police officer who pulled her taser instead of her instead of her gun and shot a fucking dude for it. Just just shot a dude. All right. Of all the jobs in public service, and she's just been convicted of manslaughter, first and second degree. Of all the jobs in public service, police officers have the most difficult one. They must make snap decisions under tense, evolving, and ever-changing circumstances. Apparently, according to reports, she was choking up when she wrote, read this, by the way. The judge was, was borderline crying. They risk their lives every single day in public service. Officer Potter made a mistake that, tra that ended tragically. Chu, Judge, judge Regina Chu, um, then paused to uh, hold back some tears and emotion. She never intended to hurt anyone. Well, tasers hurt, so she clearly wanted to hurt someone. She never intended to hurt anyone. Her conduct cries out for a sentence significantly below the guidelines. Um, so, yeah. Ah. <sighs> I'd throw her ass in jail for 20 just for gr gross negligence. Jesus fucking Christ. You fucking, your hand went to your hip, pulled a fucking gun, and you didn't notice it wasn't your tape. Hang on. Um, fucking, let's, I, I want to do this. I want to do this. Let me try. Let me try and find out really quickly. It's Minnesota, so okay, so that's what I want. Okay, okay. Got, I've got her, okay. I've got her Her model of gun. All right, this is, yep, that's, that, that is, that's it. All right, and then, 
what model of she had an X 26 P that looks like taser X 26 P. All right. Let's do this. This is oh, I fucking love this. This is great. This is great. All right. So she mistook this for this, this for this. She had a Glock 17 nine millimeter standard issue for, uh, for Minnesota police. Um, her, her department issued her a Glock 17 nine mil. What's up monster? This is a, uh, taser X 26 P, which is also standard issue for her. So not only did she grab the wrong side, because again, they're worn on opposite sides. The, the firearm and the taser are worn on opposite hips for, for an opposite draw. She mistook this weapon with her off hand. Well, actually, it would be on her on hand. Her taser would her, be her off. This one would be her on for, uh, for this. This for this. So, either she is the dumbest goddamn cop ever in existence, which, again, I allow for. Cops are pretty fucking dumb. On average, there's some of the dumbest fuckers walking around this fuck in this country. But, or, 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 hear me out, she shot a motherfucker and then made some shit up. And the entirety of the system sort of like just sat there blinking and backed her up on it. Because I got to tell you. It's near impossible to mistake these two for each other. Um... Okay, so a Glock 17 9 mil with magazine and loaded uh, weighs in, depending on um, bullet choice, it weighs in at roughly 915 grams. So almost a kilo, almost 2.2 pounds, a little less than, right? Uh, X versus P. Wait, a Taser X26P weighs two hundred and four grams. So, the the Glock seventeen nine mil, depending on uh, cartridge type selection with magazine fully loaded, is at approximate nine hundred and fifteen grams. Where a Taser X twenty six P with full cartridge loadout is two hundred and four grams. So, this thing weighs about three and a half, three point two five times less than her firearm fully loaded. It's bright yellow. It has a different grip style entirely. It's got a different safety mechanism entirely. It's got a different sight line entirely. But she mistook her Glock 17 for her Taser X26P. Sure. I believe her. I, I for one, believe her. Glazy who, Glazy who usually gives the benefit of the doubt on this sort of thing too. Even Glazy's like, yeah, and she was holding it for at least five seconds too. Like, dude, this is, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I don't fucking buy it for a second. She's the dumbest goddamn cop in the country, which is a record. That's a hell of an achievement to be the dumbest goddamn cop. She's either the dumbest goddamn cop in the fucking country, or she's a fucking liar who just assassinated a black dude and got away with it. I'm going to go with the latter. (laughs) 
Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the 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 tri- uh, the safety mechanism is entirely different. A Glock 17 has a trigger safety. It's got a little. Um, oh well, I'll just fucking show you the photo here. All right, so that little notch right there. All right, you see this thing? This is this is one of the reasons I don't like Glocks. Um, this is what they consider a safety. I'm not kidding you. Um, they put their safety on their trigger. This is referred to as a trigger safety. It's the stupidest goddamn invention as far as I'm concerned. But this this is the safety on a Glock 17. This little ridge right here. You depress that and then you can pull the trigger. It's essentially uh, it's a, uh, a fire pin block so it doesn't accidentally go off otherwise. It's not actually a safety. Here is the safety on, uh, on, a, uh, uh, on a Taser X26P model at least. Right? It's a big thumb operated up on the side toggle. Yeah, the latte. Yeah, these are this is what she mistook for what she mistook. This is this is the story. Yeah. This is this is this is her service issue firearm coming in at around 200, I'm sorry, 915 grams uh, fully loaded. This is her issue taser, uh, a taser X26P fully loaded with uh, with uh, backup cartridge on it. It's uh, around uh, 200, uh, 204 grams. Hey, Willada. Um, so, yeah, this is that's the story. That she mistook this for this. It's over three times the weight. It has a different color, a different sight profile, a different safety mechanism, a different everything. And she held it for multiple seconds before she pulled the trigger. And the story is she mistook this for this. Sure. Oh, you're right. It is four. It's well over four. What would it be? 915 divided by 204. It'd be 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. something. That's as far as my 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 sleep addled brain is going to go with. Um, you're right though. It's over four. Close to four and a half. Yeah, it's four point four something. Anyway. Um, maybe she was high, victim of the drug war. So sad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One doesn't even, one even doesn't do pew pew. Um, yeah. So. She got two years. She got two years for first and second degree, uh, manslaughter. And the, and the fucking judge did a teary. She fucking got all choked up for her. Not the victim. Not the fucking person she, this dumb cunt murdered. She, the judge got all fucking teary-eyed for the dumb twat that fucking murdered him. And said a fucking piece on her behalf. The judge said a piece on her behalf. You want to see her? Uh, you want to see her booking photo? Hold on. Oh yeah, I bet she gets her pension. I bet she gets her pension. Yeah. Yes, she is. She is still eligible for her pension. I just checked. She's still eligible for her pension. She gets, she's eligible for retire bene, retirement benefits after they allowed her to resign. Yeah. Um, do we know what she's going to get? 26 years. Uh, 48, 26, so... 
She could be getting up to like 50,000 a year in pension benefits. Yeah, she could be getting up to 50,000 a year in pension benefits just from, uh, you know, that. Oh, by the way, she was a cop for 26 years. She was a cop for 26 years. She was an officer for 26 years and she mistook that for that. That for that. Oh. oh, yeah. No, she'll get good treatment. She'll get good treatment. She'll get separated out of Gen Pop. She'll get watched after by the guards. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was a cop for longer than Dante was even alive. Oh. Close some of these tabs. Oops. Oh. Yeah, she better hope she does. Nah, they'll separate her out. They'll separate her out for sure. I, I just. What's up, Gemma? Um, I'm tired as fuck because I didn't go to bed until bum fuck in the morning. Um, and I drug my ass out of bed, even though I should have just been like fucking stream canceled. We'll see you at bad movie night. But I got up and I fucking did some core exercises and I did some mild lifts. I didn't really go after it, go after it. Um, and then I got on air and we've been talking about bullshit ever since. We just covered the the uh, the, the cunt of a cop who uh, killed the uh, black dude here in the States who mistook her taser uh, for uh, her Glock 17 for her taser. And we've been talking about the specifics. I showed uh, a Glock 17 fully loaded weight and profile and the taser that model that she had and how it's basically impossible to mistake these two things especially when carried on opposite sides but yeah that's what we just got done talking about she got two years they just sentenced her the judge did a teary for her by the way Gemma fucking the judge got all all te teary eyed and cops have one of the most difficult the the most difficult job in public service uh. yeah Judge straight up did a teary for her and fuck uh, from behind the bench. Gave her two years for first and second degree manslaughter. Yeah. Welcome to America. Anyway, how's your day going, Gemma? It, it, dude, it, let me check. Let me check, Cassie, because that'd be just... Uh. <laughs> that sounds right. That sounds right. That just sounds right. Oh. I'm not seeing anything that says she was in charge of training. She had received her training. She um, was fully trained in her department's taser and use of force policies when she shot Dante Wright at a traffic stop. Um, she had received annual training for, uh, during her quarter century as a police officer, including a four hour training, uh, taser training course on March 2nd. Um, so yeah, I don't see anything though about her teaching the course. If you can find it, let me know. Cause that's hilarious. If she was, if she was in charge of teaching it, that it's just makes that even better. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'll, um, you know what, Gemma, do you want me to look too? Um, I got the main ones. All right. I was just going to look for like samples packs. There's probably some really good ones out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was a traffic stop. Crimson. You didn't know that? Oh, yeah, it was a traffic stop. Just like fucking, uh, what's his name? Oh, what was, uh, what was the other guy's name? Um, who had the gun. He actually had a gun, but he had a CCW for it. Um, Philando Castile. Philando Castile. That's who I'm thinking of. 
Um, yeah. The traffic stop. Let's see. There's that. Mm. At least located them. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Yeah, I think that's all the headlines. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, he's driving all black, of course. <laughs> Female cops can be racist, too. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag girl boss. Uh, Wallada, basically, it's because it's not, if you are in a situation you need to draw, you need it on your dominant side. If this is, this is, again, talking to a dude who doesn't think the cops should even have guns, but in firearms handling and ownership, if you are going to resort, resort to your firearm, you need to have it on your practice location for the quickest draw possible in on your dominant hand. Um, that is just general best practice. It's just the way things are done. Um, yeah, I, 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 I would take their guns away entirely. But I, um, yeah, as far as firearms ownership goes, yeah, I'm, I'm right hand dominant for, uh, for shooting. So I wear on my right side. I'm not a cross draw kind of guy. I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a same side draw. So I, I come up from my right hip. Um, I'm, I, my stance is even closer to like my, my pistol stance is halfway between a pistol and a rifle stance. Actually, I use a, a, a modified stance. So I'm sort of cocked to the side, makes it a little harder profile and gives me a good line down the site for me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just best practice because if you do need a draw, you don't want to be off hand. You don't want to be offside. It, it's just, it's a life or death matter. Whether or not it is a life or death matter with cops, again, we've covered that plenty of times. We know it's not, but it's a life or death matter. And in life or death matters, that's how you carry your firearm. It just is. Um, but yeah, I don't think I need to run the numbers again. I think you guys have heard them enough. Oh, Beast, I was never a fucking speed run guy. My stepdad has some very impressive speed times. Um, he was very quick back at, mm, a couple of decades ago now, but he used to be very quick on his draw. It was impressive. He'd do the buzzer shit, the speed trials. Um, bitch. Yeah. Um, mag dump, um, revolver dump plus a speed load change. Um, yeah, he used to do a bunch of the speed trials. I was never so much into the speed trials. I, I never got into competitive shooting. It, I never saw it like is comp hyper competitive as I am. I never got into competitive shooting. I just enjoyed shooting. I just enjoyed walking around the desert with a 12 gauge pump and shit like that. Right. Like I, I never, you know, I liked, I like to be able to lay down with a fucking rifle and just plank, plank. Uh, good. Yes. I, uh, this is my thing. Like uh, open carry only freaks people out who aren't familiar with guns and aren't around guns, right? Open carry freaks like the the gun normies out, right? Like that's that's who gets freaked out by open carry. Dude, I spent a good chunk of time here in the Southwest where open carry is just common thing, right? Like I'm in Las Vegas for fuck's sake, Las Vegas suburbs, and like I can go to the Whole Foods and there's dudes in there with open carry. Right? When I was in Arizona, are you shitting me? Literally everybody had a fucking firearm on their hip. 
And the ones who didn't have it on their hip probably had a smaller back or uh, ankle holster. I, it's just, it's common. Like, yeah, Cassie, see, open carry is super normal there, too, Louisiana, right? And I come from Vermont, where open carry is perfectly, uh, where concealed carry is perfectly legal if you can own the firearm. There's no CCW processing in, uh, in Vermont. If you can buy a firearm in Vermont, you automatically can carry it concealed. So everywhere, like it's with a couple of exceptions, everywhere that I've lived, it's really common. I've never sort of not been around it. Um, where I lived in Tennessee, it wasn't that common, but outside of that, like the New England corridor places I've lived, um, and then uh, Arizona and Nevada for sure. It's just the way it is. So, um, yeah, I don't, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't, I don't mind it. Um, generally speaking, fact of the matter is, is that private gun owners are usually far more trained, far more responsible, and far more knowledgeable about their firearms, safety handling, and uh, general firearms practices than cops ever will be. So I feel far more comfortable being around uh, a, a private citizen who's, Oh, oh, carrying openly or carrying concealed than I ever will be around a, a, a fucking cop with a gun. Dude, cops with guns freak me the fuck out. Oh, yeah, even if it's an AR, I don't give a shit. Fucking if it's an AR, it's even less uh, less of an issue. Like, it, it really is. Um, Yeah, like, I, I no, it doesn't freak me out. It's never freaked me out. Um, but I've lived my life around, grown up with, and helped train some of... I, I've, I've been around some of the most responsible, well-educated, highly qualified, badass, big dick shooters on the planet. Like, when you talk about um, some of the, like, the big dicks in, like, firearms training and stuff like that... Uh, Here, Ignatius Piazza, right? Like, dude, we fucking, uh, we were founding members of uh, this fucking place, all right? Like, I, I fucking Dr. Ignatius Piazza. Like, I mean, this, this, this dude's fucking reputation is like, ex fuck extraordinary, right? Like, he's he is renowned. Um, there's He's generally an expert witness on top of all of that. He fucking, you know, like I've, I've trained with like the names. I've met these dudes from like childhood and shit like that. I, I have a very different experience with firearms than a lot of people d do, especially non-Americans. Uh, Non-Americans, especially Canadians get an exception because, you know, America light. But especially non-Americans, like, I've had a very different experience with firearms. Um, so, yeah. See, and maybe in your culture it is, Gemma. But it's not here. It isn't. It, there's, there's entire sections of the U.S. where that isn't the statement. That's the social norm in your culture. In our culture, it's not a statement about intimidation. It's a statement. It's, it's barely a statement. Dude, in places like the southwest of the U.S., having a firearm on your hip isn't even a statement. It's just part of your EDC. It's part of your everyday carry. It, it is, you've got your wallet, you've got your keys, you've got a Gerber folding pocket knife, and you've got your Glock 9 mil or your Sig 9 mil or your Colt, your Colt, 40, uh, Colt 45. Like it's literally just a part of your everyday carry. You've got your socks, you've got your belt, you've got your, your keys, your wallet, and your gun. It's, it's not even a statement in huge portions of the US. Yeah. It just is. Oh, is she? Wait, Caitlin Bennett. Is she the, uh, is she Caitlin Bennett's the one who shit her pants, right? Again, same here. Same statement goes. Same statement goes. Uh, Gemma. 
It, there's Boo Boo Bennett. Yeah. There's there's no way I could ever explain this to a foreigner. There isn't. There's no way for someone who didn't grow up in America to comprehend this unless you come here and live here for like decades and embed yourself in this culture. Yeah, it's it is it is it's just it's like explaining face in Asia to a Westerner. We just were like, we'll just ignore it. Like, who cares? Like, it doesn't matter. It matters. It's one of those things. It's just there's no explaining this to outsiders. Um, what's up, Goddard? Think of it like people carrying swords in night days. I mean, yeah. It only bothers me when the person carrying a gun yells at the toilet before using it. <laughs> Uh, I think she lives in your t your town now, Glazy. Jeez. Caleb. Uh-huh. Gun girl who makes dookie. Yes, this Karina. <laughs> uh, oh, Marcus. It wasn't a political statement. Um, Marcus. Yeah, that wasn't a political statement. Brown people or, uh, or Panthers. Um, Bobby's carrying a sword this moment. There you go. Um... That wasn't a political statement. That was an open threat of violence and was dealt with as such. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the Panthers did use theirs. I mean, that's, you know, the Panthers weren't just carrying firearms. <laughs> Dude, they were laying beat downs on cops in the streets and they used those guns a couple of times. So, I mean, to be fair, they weren't just a political statement. <laughs> I, I support their usage of them. I do. But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, when you start, when you start hauling cops off to the side of the road to curb stomp them and put, put a couple of them down along the way, we're in a new arena. We're in a new arena of conversation. I think we can, we can admit that to ourselves. Um... They were just carrying them in a certain direction with the trigger pulled. <laughs> uh, uh, I think, uh, I know you think full auto should be legal. What do you think of explosives? Dude, uh, Glazy, I'd just repeal the NFA and then you'd get, you'd get grenades as a result. 100%. I just repealed the National Firearms Act. You get machine guns back. You get, you get hand grenades back and we'd be good to go. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't sure what's TOS, so figure political would get the idea across. It's a historical event, Marcus. I think we can talk about it in, in the abstract, right? Fucking, we know what the Black Panthers did. We know we know the ramifications and how it went down. So there's no need to... I, th I think we're allowed to talk about it. Um... There was a store in my county that got robbed with a hand grenade a few years ago. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, beast, beast, fucking local Seven Eleven blown up in a botched holdup tonight at eleven. Um, <laughs> I mean, Glazy, they already can if they want them. Like, it's not that complicated of a deal. That's that's the thing. A lot of the stuff that's that's illegal in the U.S. isn't illegal. It's just more complicated to get. That's all. And it's not even that complicated to get if you know what you're doing. If you've, if you've participated in the process before. Dude, it's super easy to get, like, a full auto or a suppressor. It's just, it's, um, it's price blocked. That's, that's the only thing that's holding most people back from getting a hand grenade, a suppressor, or a full auto. It's not, like, restriction to that class of ac uh, access to uh, that uh, class of weaponry. It's merely the fact that tax stamps and the cost of the firearm basically create a $30,000 piece. And most people don't have $30,000 to spend on it. But the truth of the matter is, is that that's all that's standing between most U.S. citizens and a full automatic weapon is a tax stamp and a, 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 an expensive gun. That's it. It's the, we haven't locked them behind some sort of like extra background check 
or like, you know, higher restrictive access for only the truly vetted. It's just pay us a $300 tax stamp, go through the same background check and then buy a really expensive gun. That's it. It's there's there's no change in the procedure to get a full auto in this country. It's just price blocked for most people. Uh The response to the robbery was great. I was in the next town over. There was literally just a line of cop cars coming out of the woodworks. All into this one town. We're all just like, what the fuck is going on? Um, why are suppressors hard to get? People don't want gunners to shoot Sally? I mean, basically. And they, they're generally seen as... Encouraging a criminal element. Um, you know. <sighs> but they're super easy to make. They're super easy to buy. Um, and you can even, you can get the, like the tax stamp and you can manufacture your own. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, no, that's, there's, we haven't, we haven't like, uh, we haven't walled them off or anything like that. That's, it's just, you can't afford a fucking full auto. That's all. <laughs> that's, that's it. You come to an FFL, um, uh, somebody who holds a federal firearms license who can uh, own and transfer military and police grade weaponry like my stepfather um, and you just request that I'm looking to purchase an NFA weapon and I he would you would have to purchase the tax stamp first and then you would have to undergo undergo the same background check the same Nick's background check um, that anybody else has to pass. Uh, as purchasing through an FFL. And by the way, the clause on uh, uh, a Nick's background check, this is uh, for the for um, for the, the foreigners. You'll love this. So there's an actual clause in our law that states if the firearms background check does not get returned within three days, the FFL holder can release the firearm automatically. So if Nick's gets backed up for processing during, say, like a heavy sales holiday season and the background check takes longer than three days to process, they can automatically release the firearm to the purchaser. Just a, just a fun aside as to how American firearm background checks operate in practice. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mr. DuPont pops out of his tank. Yeah, basically. I mean, I've, I've got fucking footage of like artillery uh privately owned artillery Cassidy that's how my background check went yeah that's that's literally the law Um, that is, that is quite literally the law in the U S that's the law of the land. Um, if your background check takes more than three days, you just release the gun. What if your homophobe neighbor owns grenades and open carries an AR, then get an AR and get some grenades, level the playing field, get two, get two ARs, get a mini 14, get a fucking 50 cal Barrett. Fucking get a 50 cal Barrett put on your fucking roof in a sniper's nest and point it at his fucking house and let him know what's up. Yes, but make sure you paint the, the grenades rainbow colored. Yes, yeah, Aka, 100%. That's fucking absolute oversight on my part, Aka. Um, yeah. Like, I, I, I don't understand the mentality. Like, I really don't. Like... Well, what if your homophobe neighbor... Well, you have a homophobe neighbor. That's the first issue. Right? The issue isn't that he has an AR or you want... Um, or he has grenades. The, the issue is, is you have a homophobe neighbor who's willing to do you physical harm. He could use his car. You could be out walking your fucking shitty little chihuahua 
right? And he fuck it. Yeah, Cassidy, he also owns a car and knife, right? You could be out walking your shitty little chihuahua around the neighborhood and he just... Right? Like, the problem is, is that you have a homophobic neighbor who means to do you physical harm, not the means by which he's going to do that harm. That's, that's your issue. Primary number one issue is uh, deal with your homophobe neighbor. Uh, when the gay grenade blows up, they also spray confetti. Fa fabulous. Uh, you'd be surprised how much they'll hesitate if they know your arm too. Yeah, straight up. Except we've seen Babel Boom in instances such as the UK, when w firearms are more difficult to get, they resort to other methodologies, such as vehicular attacks or Paris, for this instance, vehicular attacks, machete attacks, acid in the face or uh, 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 a lie, so which would be a base in the, uh, in the face uh, attacks, that you just default to other methodologies. You know what? Here's one babble boom. I'd rather be shot and dead and shot and killed than take a face full of acid. Your, your fucking, oh, well, the kills don't compare. Yeah, you know what? I'd rather be dead. You ever seen what it's like to take a face full of fucking lie? I'd rather get shot and die. 100%. Yeah, I'll bite that bullet any fucking day. Uh, I think we're fine calling lion acid, even though it's technically highly alkaline. All right, cool. I'm good with that one. Yeah, arguably having guns makes it less painful if it's going to happen. Oh, Babble Boom. See, here's the thing, Babble Boom. Are you leaving? Because chances are you're just... Ugh. Americans don't get it and I'm leaving. If you're just leaving, I'm not going to bother explaining this to you, but here's the fact of the matter is do you have a magic wand? Because if you possess a magic wand, my friend, I wish you would wave, wave it, but you're going to have to get rid of all of the knowledge of, uh, of pressure chambers as well. Because the fact of the matter is, is that firearms are ingrained into American culture and they're not going away. So unless you can magic firearms away tomorrow for us and all of the knowledge that pertains to it, then the fact remains that we have more firearms in this country than anywhere else on the wor in the world. We have the highest firearms density. And if you tell the law-abiding citizens that they shouldn't have guns, but all the criminals keep them, we are absolutely insanely fucked. So, you're going to help us out? You, like, fucking non-Americans? You're going to come over here and fucking help us? You're going to stand in the line? Right? Like, if all the guns went away in a month, we'd have the highest pipe gun density. Dude, we'd have actual... We have gunsmiths in this country. We have guys that can... I know one. I know a dude. He can quite literally just make you a gun. Not, not a pipe gun. A fucking gun. Like... Fully functional, slide, <laughs> slide activated, fucking gas chambered firearm. Straight up. He can just take raw fucking metal and make you one. It is insane. There's several certified gunsmiths in my town alone that I know personally. Yeah, exactly. Like fucking, and it was, yeah, the cat's out of the, already out of the bag in America. I used to be against firearms until I came to my senses and realized we have to protect ourselves. Latte gets it. Also, unilater unilaterally disarming in the face of armed right-wingers is pretty bad. That? Yeah. Oh, he, it looks like fucking, who is it? Who is it? Who is this fucking coward that just said some stupid shit and then ran off? Did they leave? They fucking left, didn't they? I fucking hate cowards that do that shit. Um, Crimson, they work for one or two shots, generally speaking. You can count on them for their first shot. You can count on them for their first shot. I would not use a 3D printed firearm, but um, worst case scenario, it works. 
Worst case scenario, it works. But it may blow up in your hand. Know that. All it takes is one minor printing flaw. They do, Glazy. They suck. They suck. The tech isn't there yet. The tech isn't there yet. Um, oh, yeah, Bobby, but that's not what anybody's talking about. We're talking about a full a full print. Um, so, no, they've already fucked off. The, the chat window just hasn't refreshed. That's all. Um... I love anti-gun people that act like whatever country they're in doesn't have guns. It's comically stupid. Yeah, I know. Fucking Australia has more guns now than they did prior to the, the Port Arthur shooting incident. Um, that's literally how the KKK was able to start in the black community after they legislated their guns away. So there's precedent. Um, Crimson. And there's other ways to get that too, but I definitely won't discuss that. Um... Yeah, it, it's the it, I, I I adore foreigners who are like Americans just are in love with their guns. Yeah, it's a little more complicated than that. Thanks for the reductive, idiot, naive, childlike take. <laughs> like it's it's more complicated than that. Um, it's not a huge one with her. It's it's a pop. It's a pop, but uh, it's the kind of pop that like leaves your hand shredded. There, I mean, long story short. All right, so you're gripped like this, right? This portion of your hand is now subject to explosive forces and pieces of plastic doing that. So, not fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I fucking love those idiots. And, yeah, he's already gone. He, the name just fell off the list. I would love to have known where he's from. Oh, he's a fucking commie idiot. He follows Pinko the Bear. Babble Boom follows Pinko the Bear. Never, no, no wonder. No fucking wonder. Um... And Gemma, and again, you need to take the knowledge because the fact of the matter is, is it's not just the firearms. We will replace those firearms. It'll take us a minute, but you better believe we'll replace them. So, yeah. Yeah, not only do you have to simultaneously magic away all guns, you have to magic away the knowledge of pressure vessels and basic machining. Uh, machining which you can't, every machine shop in this country could crank out guns at a rate that you couldn't even believe. Any, any machine shop. One, one gun, what's up, public? One gunsmith, one machine shop, they can produce firearms at a rate that would, you would stagger most people. Like, blades and mills, exactly. Yep, it, it's, we, we have the knowledge. If anything, it would just centralize guns even more into the wrong hands. Yeah. Um, yeah, public, we, we actually, we have the technology. Um, no, we, we, we were talking about firearms because we started talking about Kim Potter, the dumb cop who fucking mistook, mistook her fucking Glock 17 fully loaded for her Taser X26P and got two years for it. We started talking about that, but then we ended up on firearms. Um, and we were talking about guns and some fucking idiot foreigner fucking European probably came in the room and just started fucking pulling a, pulling a fucking whinge fit over how American Americans just don't get it because you're in love with your guns. It's like, you don't fucking get it. So yeah, that's, and they of course fucked off right away. They didn't even want to have the conversation. They just ran away from the conversation. Uh, Like it just fucking we've got it's how it, it's kind of how it works. Jump in, make a comment, run off. Radical Hassan viewer probably. Uh, Glazy, no, Pinko the Bear. Pinko the Bear instead. Pinko's one of the commies who hates me. 
He's he's not an ANCOM. He's a centralizing authoritarian communist. Yes, Pinko. Yeah, Pinko hates me public. If you didn't know that. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm on Pink uh, I'm on Pinko's shit list. Have been since the fucking since has came up. Yeah, when I made it unequivocally known that fuck authoritarian communists. Yeah, oh yeah, Pinko's in that team that like talked about doxing. Yeah. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, fucking CIA. He works for the fucking CIA, this goddamn fucking liberal fascist shit like that. I'm thinking a lot of the left is becoming what the alt right was in terms of tactics and methods. Dude, I I don't disagree, public. I don't disagree. <laughs> Ever since I knew, I learned about um Oh god, I'm sorry. I always forget her name. Who is the um, the sex worker I like who who did the interview with Vosh that the left turned against and all the fucking commies turned against and threw her to the uh, to the fucking um, uh, the three percenters and shit? Oh yeah, withered. It was a real thing. Merrick Deville, thank you, cupcake. Merrick Deville. Yeah, ever since I fucking saw how the left treated Merrick Deville. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they, they literally coordinated to throw her to the three percenters and Kiwi Farms. Right? The fucking... Yeah. Like, the left tried to get her, like... The left tried to fucking frame her for a, a bomb threat. Like, a bunch of fucking online Twitter leftist commie agitator types tried to get the FBI to believe that Merrick was involved in a goddamn bomb... Uh, like, bomb threat. And she ended up having to talk to the fucking, uh, the feds over it. Yeah, it's fucking, it was insane. I'm like, Jesus, goddamn Christ, fuck all y'all. Uh, she's a sex worker, Willata. That's what she did wrong. She's a sex worker. I'm not kidding you. That's not, I'm not, that's, that's the reason. She's a sex worker. Yeah. She, um... She dared say that sex work could still exist in a post-capitalist society. That the coercive capitalist element could, ex uh, could be removed and sex work could become mutual aid. This was her statement. That sex work could become mutual aid in a post-capitalist society. That was her crime. For which tankies, online leftists, fucking commie types, fucking all started screaming re and contacted three percenters, contacted Kiwi Farms, tried to frame her for a bombing with the FBI. Yes, that was Merrick's grand transgression against the left. She dared say that sex work in a post-capitalist society could be classified as mutual aid. So, yeah. Yeah, public, public, you, you don't, you know what, you're not completely on board, but you're not like, bomb the bitch, are you? Right? Like, you're not like, yeah, you know what? Let's get violent right-wing motorcycle gangs to attack her in the streets. Right? Like, that's, even if you don't agree with it, you're not like, fucking murder the bitch. Right? Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, exactly. No time for degenerate horny when you have the people's farm to till. Exactly, Crystal. <laughs> it's Gemma. I mean, I, I mean, it's pretty pog take. I'm ace and I'm still here for it, right? I, I, the way she got treated, I, 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 I have not forgotten that. I've not forgotten that, right? I'm not going to forget that. It's really all it took, mister. It's really all it took because you have to understand, um, that side, that group, those authoritarian centralizing communists believe like pornography. They believe homosexuality. They believe transgenderism. 
They believe uh, sex work. All of that is born of liberal Western dege uh, degeneracy. This is their talking point. This is their go-to. All of that is born of it. Because prostitution never existed under in the USSR. Because pornography never existed pre-capitalism. This is their this is their belief that all of that stuff is is a liberal Western degenerate plot essentially, and that under communism, under actual communism, homosexuality and transgenderism and sex work would just go away. It would just cease to exist. It would just solve itself because none of that exists once you address the material working conditions and relieve society from the oppressive boot heel of liberal propaganda. I've listened to these fuckers talk about this too many times. This is a common talking point amongst the authoritarian left. It's a super common talking point. It's not even fucking out there. Yep, yep, public for sure. Yeah, Vietnam's a fucking, oh God. As soon as you said Vietnam, Luna Oi. Um, In fact, prostitution is older than humanity. Prostitution is older than our species. Y'all know that, right? Like, we've done experiments with chimps and shit. Prostitution exists prior to our special development. Um, okay, so Glazy, basically, here's what, what uh, a bunch of scientists did. They took a bunch of chimps and um, they, uh, they taught them, they gave them script. They give them chips, basically. And no, it's older than humanity. They gave them chips and they taught them if you return this chip to, uh, uh, to a researcher, they would give them food in return. So what is one of the first occurrences of socialized behavior? The male chimps started saving their fucking tokens, started rationing them, and then would turn the tokens over to the females in the group for sex. It predates humanity. The, the, the concept of exchange of goods and services for sexual favor is trans species on this planet. It predates us. We're just one of the participants in this. So like, yeah, this is, it's, it's way deep into the genome. It's way deep into the genome. Dude, look at, um, go look, how many of y'all have ever actually read, um, um, Jane Goodall's, um, autobiography and uh, not uh, her memoirs. Like if you read Jane Goodall's memoirs about the, uh, the chimp war, what was the, uh, the, uh, where is the place? Uh, it starts with a G. Um, I always forget the fucking place name. Uh, no, no, hang on. It's the Gombe. It's the Gombe Chimp War. Um, yeah, if you read, if you read Jane Goodall's memoir, she talks about um, the, the extensively about the, the study that made her career. This is why we know who Jane Goodall is, is because of the Gombe study. And it is, it's the chimps that genocided another tribe public. There was a power struggle in a chimp tribe. And one of the alphas, uh, the alpha died. And so there was a power struggle between two brothers and a, another another al uh, male that seceded the alpha and became the alpha. Basically, the the one who became the alpha of the Gombe tribe, anytime any one of the brothers would around, was around, he'd kick the shit out of the brothers, uh, out of the brother. But when they were there together, he'd be submissive. So what happened is one day the brothers got sick of this shit and they split off from the tribe, and they took the majority of females with them. Two males, they were younger, they were in their prime, the majority of the females went with them. Now, during all of this, Goodall broke protocol. She gave them names. 
She didn't give them numbers. She gave them names and she started notating the characteristics and the personality traits of the, uh, of the chimpanzees. And so the tribes split. So what happens? The original Gombe tribe, the leader forms a war party of like six males and starts attacking because the chimps forage independently. So when they go, oh, this is like 70s or 80s klepto. This is this is decades ago now. Um, 60s, 70s, something like that. Dude, it's been a minute. Um, they would forage by themselves. And so they formed a war party that would ambush. And so they took out one of the leaders. They took out another leader. Oh, well, the leadership is dead. You think they'd stop? No, they stood, they kept going and they kept taking out all of the fucking males of the tribe of the, of the splinter faction and good all noted and other researchers noted, not only did they massacre these males, if you ever want some very disturbing reading it, her notes from the, the field documentation or portions of them are in her memoirs. It's insane. The st peeling strips of skin from their inner thigh while the others held them down, right? Like they would torture them after they killed the fellow man, uh, after they killed their assassination target, they would celebrate. They would celebrate. They were noted. They would jump up into the trees, shake the trees and yell and scream in a celebratory fashion. They enjoyed the kill. It was a fucking thing. So after they were down to the final fucking one who had been, who had remained, who had kept social ties with the previous group, who wasn't completely an, uh, uh, antagonistic towards the social of uh, the other social group. After they held him down and murdered him in the field, you know what they did then? The, uh, the war party went to the, uh, what's up? Went to the tribe, went to the split off tribe and recaptured the females. The females were not too excited about this process. So they killed one as an example, beat a few others, and then took, the, uh, took them back to their tribe and fucking held them down and reintegrated them into the social fabric of the tribe if you get up, if you get what I'm putting down. War, genocide, over women. Okay. It's not just us. It's not just us. This shit is deep in the genome. Klepto don't speak on her behalf. You don't know her. And in fact, her conclusions nearly lost her, her career, her conclusions were almost lost to her career, but a further, uh, a further study in Africa that used a far more integrate, a far less integrated method in the field confirmed her study. Yeah, she was the laughing stock of primatology for quite some time. They thought she had gone off the deep end, but later studies confirmed her, uh, her findings that in fact, they exhibit all of the prime, uh, primal characteristics that we do. They celebrate their war victories. They have war parties. They do targeted assassinations. They fight over, uh, a fight over, uh, resources such as women. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Gombe, ch uh, uh, chimp war. It's, it's a hugely well-documented fucking thing and is, uh, it makes up a significant portion of Goodall's memoir. It's, it's a fascinating read and it's, it's insight, um, into exactly how dark humanity is and where it comes from. It's, it's above our species. It's beyond our species. Klepto, I don't know what the fuck you're drinking or what you're on. You're timed out for 10 minutes until you can get your shit together. Um, Ed, 
Anyway. I don't know what's going on there. Either way. Um, yeah, no, I, I, that's, you can, you could read good all yourself or you could, you know, watch a number of documentaries about it, but yeah, it's the, the Gombe chimp war and it is dude, some of the most brutal fucking shit you've, you've ever read. Um, ants do too. And by the way, if you're wondering how long this took her to figure out, 26 years. It was a 26 year study. She dedicated the majority of her fucking life uh, to this this shit. Um, browser. There we go. I mean, here you go. When Goodall reported on the events of the Gombe War, her account of a naturally occurring war between chimpanzees was not universally believed. At the time, scientific models of human and animal behavior virtually never overlapped. Some scientists accused her of excessive anthropomorphism. Others suggested that her presence and her practice of feeding the chimpanzees had created violent conflict in a naturally peaceful society. However, later research using less intrusive methods confirmed chimpanzee societies in their natural state wage war. A 2018 study published in the American Journal of Physical Anthropology concluded that the Gombe War was most likely a consequence of a power struggle between three high-ranking males, which was exacerbated by an unusual scarcity of fertile females. Again, it has been confirmed and reconfirmed and reconfirmed at this point that the Gombe War was basically over women. It, they had a power struggle. The women went elsewhere and the horny males of the dominant tribe was, well, they handled some shit. <laughs> I feel like this is a book club more than anything else. I always end up walking away with something to, something to read up on. Uh, it is. It's like Helen of Troy. Based, no, it's, it's the story of Helen of Troy. It's the story of Helen of Troy. Dude, it's... This shit is primal. This shit is primal. So... Yeah, I, I, that, that's it's like, dude, that was Goodall's conclusions, and it took years for her to be vindicated in those conclusions, but she was, and up to, again, recently, they're still concluding that, yeah, she was right, she was right, they, they wage war, they have war parties, they have targeted assassinations, they commit genocide, they fucking rape. They fucking, like, they, yeah, they do the whole nine yards. They've got all of that, that dark side human behavior. They've got the light side, too. 
that's been well documented. The the peaceful nature, the altruism, the the maternal nature, the care, caring for children, the, the social fabric, all of that. It's been documented as well as uh, as well. But nobody had documented the dark side, and Jane was the uh, Jane Goodall was the first one to do it, really. And nobody wanted to believe her. They all wanted to believe it was her influence on the uh, on the chimps, not the chimps themselves. And so, yeah, you fucking 26 years study. Imagine studying something for 26 years and getting these like world changing conclusions out of that study. And then shit tons of people go, oh, no, no, you fucked up. It's on you. That's all you. You messed up. And then two more decades go by. And she's right. She's right. Chimps wage war. Chimps conduct genocide. Chimps conduct war party raids. Chimps conduct fucking, you know, yeah. It does. It does public. And it's got to be infuriating. I can only imagine. But she lived to see her vindication. A lot of those people that it happens to often don't. Jane at least got to see her um, her, her, her vindication. Which, I mean, that's got to feel good. It's got to feel good on some level. I'm sure she's above it all and that sort of thing. But it's got to feel good every time a new study comes out and goes, nah, she was right again, just so everybody knows. (laughs) Oh, yeah. And Jane's detractors were influenced by Big Chimp. No, they were influenced by idiots who had met her once and thought they could speak on behalf of Jane Goodall. Rather than let her speak for herself. <laughs> uh. Uh, fun fact, Mir- uh, but he got the autograph. He also left too. Klepto fucking left when I did that. Um, fun fact, meerkats are homicidal. M- meerkaticidal? Um little fuckers too as many if not more die at the hands of competing groups as from predators yep um yeah fucking um <laughs> the study didn't go far enough the chimps practice political influence to cover it up oh oh and satellite thanks for the follow a while ago by the way um yeah no oh, it's it's <laughs> i i assure you if you if you gave the uh the dominant tribe uh, uh, firearms and taught them how to use them, they'd have fucking used guns against their enemies. You know they would have. It doesn't matter. If you taught them to drive a vehicle and run motherfuckers over, they would have fucking run motherfuckers over. Rambo chimp. Um, well, I mean, Gemma, there's the killer ape theory. Um, yeah, yep, nonsense I have. Um, oh, dig, I've done the fucking, I've done the duck thing. Dude, most people don't actually know, um, the, the duck thing proper. Um, here's, okay, hang on. There we go. Um. All right, so approximately 40% of duck conception is based, is rape based. Um, but not all. So less than approximately half. The theories that evolutionary biologists include, uh, including one Nobel Prize winning biologist put forward as a sort of story of the arms race between female and male ducks is unironically fascinating. But they do, in fact, pair off for mating regularly. But stray ducks tend to force themselves onto the females, and this is especially true with wild mallards. Specifically, this is who does the raping is wild mallards for the most part. So... The corkscrew is only painful if the female doesn't, in fact, relax, hence a part of the arms race. Once the female duck relaxes, the shape of the vagina actually allows for easy entry. So not all duck 
sex is rape based, but 40% was the highest observed estimate and a result of a field study that netted that Nobel is strictly wild mallards and not other subspecies of ducks. They have a much lower rate of uh, incidence. So as is typical, not the, the entirety of the male duck population has been branded by the bad behavior of a subset of its population. Uh, it has been stated by Wither before, incel ducks versus Chad communal quacks. Um, but yes, that is, those are some of the numbers and statistics having to do with it. Um, uh, there's literally a Nobel prize winning field study, multi-year field study involving numerous, ex uh, evidentiary examples of duck rapes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's, there's literally a fucking study that won a Nobel Prize even. Yeah, it's super well documented. Like it's it's really well documented. Um You'd be surprised what sticks and what doesn't wither. Names and specific dates but incidents and conversations, they stay. Uh, woohoo! Fucking DuckTales name. I've lived near a pond for many years and broke up many of those duck rapes. Uh... Somebody doesn't understand a lot of stuff. Well, to be fair, to be fair, the animal kingdom doesn't have a whole lot of con higher concept, conceptualization of uh, cons uh, consent. Ducks, ducks don't really have a social construct of consent. <laughs> um... So it's just sort of uh, an arms race, as it were. Um, oh, again, yeah, public. We're not intended to fly, but we have planes, right? We're not intended to communicate in this manner, but we do. So just because it's natural doesn't mean we can't do something else. I kind of feel like um, I kind of feel like getting a round or two in of um, Zomboid before we uh, do Bad Movie Night. Does anybody want to play? I could do a solo run. I could do a fresh solo run. Um, but I taught you guys something. Zomboid is my favorite bad movie. Um, Caleb's in. Public, you gotten off your ass and gotten Zomboid yet? Uh, no, I've never, I, I don't, what is, I mean, I can guess by the title what Raised by Wolves is, but I don't know what Raised by Wolves is. So no, I haven't. Well, if I do multiplayer, um, it's sci-fi. Huh. No, I haven't even heard of it. Um, if I do multiplayer, then I'm not creating a new character. That's not a thing I'm doing. Eh, public, you can remain muted for the most part if you want to try. And we understand when you unmute, there may be yelling. That's okay. I don't mind. It's up to you. No pressure. Fucking do your own thing. But yeah, I don't care one way or the other. Um, so you do that. All right. Um, 
you lazy fuck. All right, what do we got? All right, host, start the server. Hey, we didn't play last night. We didn't play last night. Um, all right, well then, um, <laughs> you watch Gravity Falls on your phone. Dude, Gravity Falls deserves to be on a big screen. The animation is good. Um, all right. I had no internet. Well, that sucks then. I get it. <laughs> Judgy prick. Goddamn right. Uh, all right, Caleb. Uh, whoever is gonna play, get into voice chat. I'll see you there. I'll see you in there in a bit, um, and then we'll go from there. Um, let me change some shit. Oh, headlines. What are we doing? Um, eh. Let's see if I can't get to anybody from the, uh, the fucking Zomboid community. Um, Project Zomboid. Anarchists run a modded server. Newbies welcome. All right, we're switching over to that. Um, and let me... Oh, God. All right, there's that. Move you guys over here to ch chat over to here. Um, and then wrong one entirely. I have so many windows. <laughs> All right. There's that one and that one. Somebody in chat know a dictionary for political stuff. Just a tad better. Um, well, not a dictionary, but I have the international encyclopedia of political science, which has basically, it's far better than a dictionary. It's kind of the definitive text. Um, so. Um, I'm guessing Karina moved Caleb. I'm guessing Karina moved you to on air. Um, all right. Let's get that. Um, game. There we go. There's that. And that. That's sized about correctly. No, no. Come back here. I have to do fucking windowed bullshit. Uh, yeah. I grew up listening to Fugazi to a certain extent or another. Um, oh, well, a lot of, I mean, no, it, it's, no, it's not online. Um, well, a what's your discord name? Do I have you on a friends list? I'm just going to tag you really quickly in the commons so I can send you a DM. All right. Give me a sec. All right. Well, Ada, just check your DMs on Discord in a bit. Um, all right. Oh, <sighs> no, uh, well, I'll check, just check your DMs. Uh, it's already sent. I uh, just, you know, check it for a second. So that's, this is Roxy. Um, all right. Fucking Caleb. Are you in? Do you need an invite? I'm still waiting on that invite. Okay. Caleb's got an invite. Does anybody else want invites? Um, all right. What? I need to eat. 
All right, Caboose is in. Caboose is in Vita Scent. All right. Let's do that. And you know what? Let's. I don't fucking need all three. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, cooking. Do I not have. You know what? Let's make some roast potatoes. Um, probably isn't good for Roxy's weight. Um, Roxy, uh, I've had on a bit of a diet because she's been gaining weight. Uh, even in the zombie apocalypse, my character's managed to eat really well. Wait, it's making me re-roll the character. I thought I was alive the last time. Uh, apparently not. Oh, and we've got more magic. Uh, we've got more pan magic pancakes. I wish Buddhist was here. Oh, Buddhist was here, dude. We fucking, we've got magic pancakes in this world. Uh, my what are magic pancakes. My uh, w well, what uh, what's going on is the uh, there seems to be a glitch with the the oven, and occasionally we'll come back, and the oven will have just spawned a three stack of uncooked pancakes. Three pancakes. Yeah. Wait, I thought that was you guys or something. No, no, seriously. Like, our, our oven just keeps making magic pancakes. Well, I guess that means at least we won't starve. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I've just been freezing them. Like, I cook them, and then I freeze them. All right? So there's always some, like, pan uh, like frozen pancakes available for, like, quick heating up. Also, um... Buddhist cat and I put in a bunch of fucking work. You'll notice we have a we have an ice chest here. There's 30 storage on either side. Uh, we we expropriated that from the uh, gas station. Also, we have vehicles. Uh, we have a mail a mail truck that we um, <clears throat> borrowed, um, and a, a trailer and a car, um, and two generators. Um, so. Yeah, it's we we got in plenty of storage and shit like that now. So I actually need to build some more storage. Um, and mm, that one. There we go. All right. Eat. Turn off. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Nonsense. I um. Buddhist cat and I got some shit done the other night. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Here, I'll show you guys the vehicles. Oh, it's raining out. Hey, you're welcome, Olada. Here's here's the uh, the mail vehicle, uh, the mail van, and we have a shag and wagon in a trailer. Where are we spawning now, Riverside? Uh, yes, correct. That's right. Okay. Now it looks like I'm rolling a new character too. Um, if you do anything other than, if you don't do unemployed, you may have a chance at spawning closer than the north side. If you do unemployed and then custom build a character, you're coming in on the north side where all the poor people live. Yeah, this game fucking spawns you. If you choose unemployed and build a character off of that, it spawns you on the north side of town. Here, I'll show you on the map. It spawns you on the north side of town where all the trailer parks are and the gas station, co uh, cop shop, and the liquor store are. Not kidding you. If you're unemployed, you spawn up here. Here's where we are down in the gated community. So literally the rich side of town and then the poor side of town. And so, yeah, if you choose an unemployed character and build a custom class, you literally spawn near the cops, gas station, and booze. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I really do. Uh, <laughs> fucking, all right. Uh, currently, at present, we're growing um, cabbage, um, wait, it's, it's broccoli, cabbage, and tomatoes. Oh, and weed. We're growing weed. Um, it's the apocalypse after all. Um, yeah, yeah, the marked up map, uh, which by the way, I've, uh, you can get, if you need a copy, go to the learning bookshelf with all the books in the, uh, in the base. And there's a, uh, annotated map, a, sh a piece of paper in there. You can put that in your inventory and then you can import the markings onto yours. Like you literally just sit down and copy the markings basically. Um, and then just put the piece of paper back. 
Um, Caboose. And if you die and have to make a new character, the map marking stay, which is kind of useful. Uh, Caboose, what traits did you choose? You're being asked. Oh, um, I went with no traits. I got no downsides and no upsides. Interesting. Um, this is our compost pile. I'm not sure what the fuck I have to do. Two wow, point. I, I chose a firefighter and it spawned me in the poor area. Oh, sack required. Hang on. Um, I mean, sack. Sack has poor fucking. All right. So, can I make a sack? Right click on a full compost. Any bag can be emptied on a top. Fucking. All right. Okay, so to get the compost. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, is the cop station very safe or unsafe in the zombie apocalypse? Also, gas station is famous in movies. Um, we uh, The cop station has been raided a couple of times. Um, Cat has gone in there and worked on cleaning it out. But the truth of the matter is, is that it's probably not that safe, even still. Um... And the gas station, yeah, um, Cat basically wrangled the uh, zombies and just got them to chase him while Buddhist and I um, took the gas can and uh, the mail vehicle and filled the mail vehicle and got the gas can filled. And then, um, yeah, that's, that's how that went down. Um, there we go. All right, key in the ignition. Start the engine. All right, I am going to drive, which will go really, really well because driving in this game is super fucking normal. Um, driving in an isometric view with a keyboard is definitely the thing that you want to do. Trust me. Sounds like old school GTA. It's it's rough. Fucking, it's rough. Um, Good lord, look at all these zombie bodies just scattered everywhere. You guys did some cleanup. Yeah, yeah, that's mostly Cat's work. Credit where credit's due. Cat, uh, Cat really goes to town in the midsection. Fucking people will see here. This is definitely Cat's work. When you see a trail of zombies in Midtown, it's usually Cat's work. <laughs> um... There's the fucking postal service. You know what? Uh, let's. I've been meaning to come back here. Oh, I should have checked before. Can I? I can't hop a counter. All right. What did Cat even have that let him kill this many people? Oh, you just. It's really not that difficult. Um, you fucking just, you just lead them and you just use a baseball bat. Spiked is the weapon of choice these days. Um, all right. Skills. Carpentry. <laughs> uh, no, Willada, it is not. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I need to... Let's see, metalwork for beginners. Did I... Oh, fucking wrong one entirely. Skills, metalwork for beginners is already read. Okay. I need... I wonder if they'll have... It's mostly books here. But I'm hoping that maybe... Um, there we go. We'll take that. Teach us how to fix our fishing rods. Why is there, oh, fucking, why is there a box just in the middle of the floor? Um, all right. Let me check these boxes, too, while I'm at it.
Yeah, I need to I need to check I need to check the book list to see exactly what we have and don't have and need as far as those books go. We've gotten all of the VHS tapes uh, from the uh, from the uh, the tape store uh, from the we'll just call it a blockbuster from the blockbuster um, that are skill uh, skill books. Oh, a microwave! I have been. We have yet to get a fucking microwave. Pick up Chrome microwave. There we go. One of my characters who might still be wandering around, I don't fucking know, had a microwave on him. Well, I got a microwave now, so no worries. And I'm going to put it in my backpack. All right. I'm hearing somebody. There we go. Ooh, a house key. I'll take that. Let's see. Some cleaning liquid. A comic book. I'll take those. Why not? A couple of padlocks. Still haven't figured out how to use them, but I'll take them. Oh, so hey. Salt and use them to kill zombies? <laughs> uh, no, you can use them to actually lock down storage containers. Um... Oh, okay. So this is... Dude, you can actually... Oh. All right. All right. All right. Interesting. And I'm guessing... Oh, no. Wrong one entirely. All right. Oh. That's just a back door wide open. All right. Let's close that. Okay. What's upstairs? This isn't a terrible building. This is kind of a nice building, actually. Duly noted for future runs. Oh, yeah, just empty space. It's got a water cooler. A little side room. I mean, nothing there I need, but... All right. Yeah, dude, the the mail, uh, the the post office wouldn't make a terrible, um, terrible base. Let's see. Drink. Fill the water bottle. If you guys need anything, let me know. Like, if you need directions, or if you need fucking. Something, something, something. All right? Just if you need anything, let me know. Water bottle would be nice. Uh, we have them back at the base, I believe. Make my way downtown. So. All right. Well, the post office is clean. It's just got books upon books upon books if we end up needing any of them. Um... Hey now, I hit E. That was weird. Oh. That is weird. All right. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Let's uh, get back out. And put the microwave in the trunk in the back of... Uh, yeah, it was somebody something. I don't know what it was. But we're going to put the microwave in the um, back of the fucking vehicle here. I can. <laughs> this is glitchy as shit. All right. Am 
fine. There, just do that. Fuck it, eh? Come on. There we go. They don't they don't always start the first try. Oof. Furniture. Oh, oh, construction. You know what? Uh, well, Lada, we've had, uh, we have had a fucking, a series of like, uh, microwave popcorn things for ages and we can't use it because we don't have a fucking microwave. <laughs> Alright, what is all this shit? So this is, is brick. Is there, no, hmm. God damn it. That's a shame. I just wanted to fucking, um, oh, for God's sake, she just ate an entire pan, roasting pan of fucking, um, potatoes. I mean, yeah, in IRL you can, but not in this, not for the microwave popcorn thing. Mm, I knew it. I knew it. Oh. All right. There's Spiffos. That makes this the gas station. Yeah, still got a little bit of a crowd. All right. Just stop here. Get out. All right, let's do this. Where, where the fuck are you idiots going? All right. Come on. This way, this way, this way. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, leveling up the the axe. that all right and that's how you do that gas can out and then take fuel Now we're getting gas. And while we're at it, let's add some gas. All right. Yeah, exactly, Lada. Dude, it fucking it takes a while to figure out combat in this game. Like it, it really does. There's there's a pattern and a nuance to it that does not come automatically. All right, let's go to the gas station. I'm back. All right. Gonna go over here. Oh shit! Tons of cigarettes. Like a ton of fun. Oh, and rolling papers. All right. Take all that. Uh, oh, 
Engineer magazine. Make smoke bomb. All right, I'll take that. Yeah, you're the weirdo on that one, Karina. <laughs> Steaks are great. Um, all right. I have seven water bottles for you, Caleb. <laughs> Actually, I'm with Karina on this one. I just, I don't give a shit about steaks. You people are weird. Oh, I agree with Carl. You people are really weird. Steaks. I always prefer, like, chicken over steak. Yeah, definitely weird. Definitely weird. Ooh, beef jerky. Oh, some beef jerky, and the chocolate helps with fucking stuff. And some more instant popcorn. Um, I'll read one. There we go. Though I shouldn't be dealing with any boredom while I'm out in the field like this. I will take one. Um, what was that other area I was looking at? Um... Uh, You know what? I know what I'll do. Um, back here. All right, where's the water bottles? Water bottles can get yeeted. Ooh, and a plank. Uh, e composer. Yeah, I don't really care. We've got we've got a couple. We'll move that too. Just Do we have any use for a box, box of paper clips? No, not really. Alright, I'll move that um, Dump the cigarettes. Just dump all this stuff into the trunk. Alright. I am where? All right, I'm gonna go out the north side, seeing as I've never explored this far. And it's right time I do it. Ooh. Okay. Burger joints. out here bait shop Ooh, you know what we're gonna end up fishing eventually we've got we've got fishing rods There's and tackle nothing in the bait shop really yeah been there uh there's tarps there's tent kits there's yeah no there's stuff oh that's not the bait shop then all right uh, when i can i just oh, found wait, cigarettes no, in the me. boys room of the bathroom of the school that's bathroom. A, yeah. That sounds about right, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was shot. I mean, it's, it's a Kentucky school in 94. I'm like, where are the guns? <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> no, you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's the stop it being funny. Yeah. Like, homie, like, where are the fucking guns? Wait, are these? These are rain collector barrels. This is holy shit. Like these, yeah. Pour pour this shit on the ground. Can I pick this up? I can't even make these yet, but they have them. Because if I can pick these up, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I have it. Cool. At a thirty-seven and a half percent chance of breaking the rain barrel when I was picking it up. Let's see. Rain collector barrel. Drop that in there. That's going to give us like four. If I can get the second one, that'll give us like 400 water just collected out back for the like plants and shit. Um, no, it would be 800. They're 400 a piece. Jesus Christ.
if I can get this picked up successfully, of course. Got it. That will be 800 water without having to build them. Good to know that these spawn in the world, too. Uh, rain collector barrel. Mm, red, red. All right. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, Did you guys know there's a second story to the school? Yes. Yeah. It took me a couple of trips before I even noticed, but yeah. It's still largely untapped. I found some pretty good shit. Well, get it. Get it, get it. There's the cleaning liquid. Dude, they're fucking, like, Cassie, I love having rune barrels in real life. Dude, they're fucking great to have in this game, too. All right. They're illegal in California for some reason. Yep. It's the people's water. Because, because apparently collecting rainwater is illegal. Yep. Nestle bought the rain, says public. <laughs> yeah, probably. That sounds like something Nestle would do. I mean, you've heard the fucking CEO before, right? Fucking bitching about Water's how... Water's not a human right. Yeah, why water shouldn't be a human right. Fucking... The guy's evil. Like, he's literally just like a super villain. And nobody fucking seems to, like... Uh, guys... <laughs> So I'm like, sure that's not a problem at all. Like, guys, this is some straight up super villain shit. Um, he's just being fiscally conservative. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you ever hear Bill Burr talk about that shit on fucking like Conan or some shit? Dude, he's like, dude, we no, should be. No, but I can imagine he had some spicy takes on that. Yeah, he was like, dude, we should be taking that dude out back. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, you can't be letting <laughs> that run around. Yeah, you can't be letting that run around. That dude wants to fucking own water, right? Like, that's not. <laughs> that's straight super. I love villain. your spiel about the Catholic Church. Uh, don't you think the Catholic Church, or don't you think you went too far with the Catholic Church comments? Don't yeah. You think the Catholic Church went too far? <laughs> fucking <laughs> old Bill. Well, don't fucking bring it up then, stupid morning show twat. Again. Oh, 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 hey, another mail carrier uh, van. Um, all right. So the factory was somewhere around here, somewhere, right? All right, let me find my way here. That's the farm. So I should be turning right, I think. Okay, so go towards the mail vehicle. Um, you know what? While I'm here, I'll check this vehicle. I'll just leave that running really quickly. Hey, it's open. Nothing of any value. Um, nope. All right. Oh, for fuck's sake, just get in. All right. Let's do this and zoom back out. Oh, this thing needs repairs. Dude, I need to start working on my mechanic skill. I mean, I've got the book read. I've just never done it. I need to start, like, repairing this vehicle. I have no idea how, but I need to start repairing this vehicle or swap it out for a new one. Ooh, hey, crowds of fucking people because Cat hasn't been out this far. <laughs> Uh, oh, they are definitely coming this way. I'm pretty sure this is the factory, though. Oh, 
so many fucking zombies. Alright, if you fuckers are gonna follow, follow this direction. Yeah, that's the factory. And then there should be, like, directly across the road. The auto shop. That's what I wanted to fucking see. There's a book on advanced foraging in the kindergarten classroom. Uh, we may, it just needs checking whether we have it or not. We've got a lot of books. We want just, to grab it? Uh, if you want. When you get back, if we have it, it goes in the overflow, <laughs> uh, which is the top left corner. There'll be a a fucking uh, a storage crate there that has books in it as well. Those are the like the duplicates and overflows. Oh, look at all of these. Yeah, cat will have a fucking ball out here. All right, let's see how I can do this and get away with it. All right. Well, I'm going to be bringing home several school bags that we can all wear on our back. Uh, we've got we've got a fair amount of bags in the weapons closet, but we'll take them because you know people lose them when they fucking go out. So, oops. You know what? I've got the gas. I'm not. I'm just going to leave it running. I wonder if it attracts, I wonder if it continues to attract them, even though. You know what? Turn it off. The magic pancakes are back again. Hey, magic pancakes, magic pancakes. All right, so this isn't even really where I want to be, I don't think. I don't think I want to be in the store uh, in the uh, factory proper. I think I want to be in the storage area for the factory. Yeah, I don't think any of this counts as like lootable space. No, it doesn't. Ooh, but there is storage here. All right. Um yeah, holy horde, Batman. Uh, do some zombies still carry food and or weapons when they're uh, from when they're alive? Yes. Uh, well, I, they do, in fact. Hey, an antique oven. Bag of plaster powder. Oh, this, this is... Oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. I see what we're doing here. I need to get the vehicle in here. I still need a welding mask. Ooh, I'll take all those seed packets on me this minute, though. Me and the schools that I went to in the 90s never let us have snacks in our desks. I always ate and took it as a fucking point of pride that, like, I'd tell my fucking teachers, just, you can shove off. You're not allowed to have food or water in here. Yeah, that's not how this is going to work. I, I ate and drank in every fucking class from ninth grade forward. Just period. I can't find a can opener in our base. Uh, it should be in the cabinet with the cans. If you just go to the cabinet with cans and right click the can and click open, you should find it should just open because there should be a can opener in that cabinet. If not, somebody has taken it. Nope. There is no can opener in there. This is the problem with multiplayer games. <laughs> mm. 
seed bag. Is it so diff fucking difficult to one find a wood axe and two find uh Jesus Christ four by duct tape rolls, um a wood axe and a fucking welder's mask. Ooh, paint. Oh, so much shit in here. All right. I need to get the vehicle in here, which means I need to start whittling zombies. Which means I need to start taking risks with a character I don't like taking risks with. Hey, psst. come here. There we go. Got your attention. All right, slowly but surely. How was my character bored raiding a school? Um, because you're doing this same same activity over and over. It really doesn't matter what the activity is. Same activity over and over will get you some boredom. Uh, you're you're going to encounter newspapers, magazines, comics, and books. Just not skill books, but books. While you're in there, just read one. Or two, or three. Public in real life, too, yeah. No, it, public, this game is beautifully modeled. Like, it really is. Um... All right, next up, slowly but surely. For those wondering, we have, um, ooh, military desert boots. Oh, mine equipped are better. Um, we have zombie respawn turned off on the server because human beings don't magically parachute out of the fucking sky in a zombie apocalypse. So... I am of the opinion that once a zombie is dead, a zombie should be fucking dead. It's a zombie apocalypse game. Of course, it's a bit violent. I'm, I'm literally smacking former humans in the head with a spiked baseball bat. I mean... It's kind of the definition of violence. Oh, die already. I got other people coming. There we go. Uh. All right. I'll just eat a granola bar. Take a vitamin. Oh, I need to do something in between these as well. Oh, God, I hope I don't need to do it during the middle of this. There's that. There's that. There's that. All right. Okay, I am. It's being worn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. not enough blood. You can actually dial it up and down, boom. See if I can peel some of these fuckers off. You know what? See if I can get away with this. A little cheeky, but... There we go. Apparently, if you screw up jumping over a fence, you can scrape your knee. Yes, you can. Yeah, there's there's numerous ways of fucking up. Uh, Karina, it's not just aiming past them. It's aiming in... There's some very fine-tuned aiming that you, you actually do, but yeah... It, once you like it becomes second nature but you have to understand how to work with the isometric view as well because it fucks with the aiming system you just 
start killing zombies. Uh, Karina, uh, go to options and go to, uh, video general. Um, give me a sec. Let me get safe here and I'll show you where it is. The green outline is definitely a thing you should do. Uh, okay. So options display aim outline right here. It's normally on ranged weapons. Toggle it to any weapon, and then you'll have it. Yeah, it's in it's in all modes. It's just an option on the game. Oh, you're welcome. All right. I need to start taking this group out over here. Yeah, this group needs to go. There we go. Start peeling some of these fuckers off. Ooh, that's... Uh, you know what? Hang on. Watch this. A few more. Okay. Start. I'm doing Cat's job, basically. This is what Cat does. Cat comes out and just fucking deals with hordes. No. Yep. But Roxy's a big girl. Do it. Come on. Oh, God. It's, all right. It's a little late. Where the fuck you come from? No one invited you, sir. There's that clear. All right. What are you two up to? Oh, I'm um, clearing the general vicinity of our base of everything resembling zombie life. Fair enough. I'm trying to get back to base, but uh, yeah, shit just kind of keeps getting in my way, but I'm actually really close and I'm raiding a house. Cool. I am just going to take this factory for all it's worth and it's got so much shit in it. Ah, yes, I see. Reappropriating assets from the bourgeoisie. Uh, you know, means of production. We're fucking expropriating them, my man. That's fucking... 
right, there's somebody in this fucking factory. Are there really any bourgeoisie left in the um, zombie apocalypse? I mean, they fucked off. That's why, like, you literally don't find many uh, many pe uh, zombies in the uh, in the area we set up because they literally. That's kind of the the meta story. There is they fucked off as soon as it happened. Okay, nobody over there. Two over here. Done. Three over here. God damn it. There we go. That was a little sketch for a second. Oh, hey now. All right. Motherfucker just faded out of existence for a second there, so I couldn't hit him. Motherfucker's got like a, a stealth shield or some shit. Duffel bag. I'll take that. Is that what's... Oh, no, that's in that. All right. So this is sort of the canteen. Yep. Uh, they got a bunker in Detroit. I think it's Detroit with the Satan painting in the, in the airport. Um, is that, it might not be, um, hey, they have a fresh pair. Uh, it might not be Detroit, Detroit you're thinking of. Uh, it could be, um, Denver, uh, as well, public. They got the a bunch of those weird paintings that, um, fucking right wing conspiracy theorists like started popping off about. Let's see. Yeah. The American right wing really did, did never get over the satanic panic, did they? Yeah, no, they didn't. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, public. I'm pretty sure it's Denver. It's got the evil fucking red eyed fuck, uh, like demon horse out front of it and shit, and supposedly has a bunker underneath of it. And yeah, um, equipped is better. Same thing. Everybody want a high vis jacket? <laughs> ah, yes, just what I want in the zombie apocalypse to be seen from miles around. Um, lumberjack shirts, a oh, plenty. Hard hats, workman shirts. If anybody wants anything, just let me know. There's plenty of fucking clothes here, and that's for goddamn sure. I have a writing helmet. How much? What's the protection of a of a hard hat? Uh, something. You just hover over it and should uh, it should tell you. Like if you look at my screen right now, like you can see, like you just hover over a hard hat and it should give you the stats. We've got all those sorts of perks installed. So, ah, uh, the writing helmet pretty much has the same stats. Well, there you go. I'm not wearing one because I'm literally, I, I, I would rather be able to see Roxy's uh, absolute baller mohawk. So, yeah, Roxy, Roxy fucking does a little bit of a risky maneuver because she wants the world to see her, her badass fucking mohawk. Um, all right. Ugh. Plenty of bleach. Hey, 
eyes on me. Let me break your face. Uh, I will take the bleach. Safety dance. And with hats. Yeah, the red-eyed Bronco is in Denver. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see. Is there no fucking light switches for this hallway? This hallway sucks. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, and there's a second floor of the factory, too. Of course there is. Nah. Just, just an empty room. <laughs> Can't you join the undead side? Is this just a catwalk around the whole thing? It's just a catwalk around the whole thing. Fuck that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dick around with that. And well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not joining the undead side, though. Some of these fuckers I play with would probably join the undead side, knowing them. All right, let's see. There's the person I heard banging. All right. All right, so... <laughs> Public. That's okay. I'm kind of attached to mine. Oop. Um, so further, 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 further. There we go. Apparently, we did not have advanced foraging. All right. Cool. Always love a new addition. All right. Um, time to start dumping. It's all, you know what, all of this. It's going over. It's going over. Um, all this shit. And once again, uh, my, my regular reminder, if you come across a welding mask or a wood axe, for the love of God, grab them. Hey, uh, bleach reduces your thirst. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically... <laughs> That's got yeah. a minus 60 to thirst. It's got a plus <laughs> n plus 99 uh, nine unhappiness, and it will kill you. Um, but, I mean, you can't be thirsty if you're dead. Yeah. It makes sense. There's a logic there. All right. Let's see, 60 out of 143 so far. All right. Cleaning liquid. All right. I'm pretty sure that's that. All right. Oh, wrong one. Sandbags can be used as a container if empty. What do they weigh? Weight two each. All right. Prioritization. Sandbags. Um. You know what? We had trouble getting shovel to start with, so I'll take I'll take a pair of shovels. We didn't find many of those. 
Take another saw too, just in case it breaks. Uh, let's just. Um, we've got a tire pump. We got a couple. <laughs> I'm sure Tide Pods would curb your hunger too. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Metal sheets are difficult to come by in proper form and we can use them to just absolutely, if I can get a fucking welder's mask, we can just use those to like absolutely barricade windows, just like straight up. Um, uh, right. let's take the duct tape. We'll take another, oh, shitty condition on that hammer. We'll take the good one. Um, trowel, wrench. I think we've got a few, but I'll take another one. And I will take the pipe wrench, though I think we've got a few. Um, Got a lug wrench, though. Again, we've got two vehicles, so we might as well take another one just in case. Where do you want me to put the extra backpacks? Uh, there is a closet that you really can't see next to the entrance to the garage that you will find a, sh a series of shelves, and you will find, like, um, weapons and bags. I found it. Yeah. All right. I decided to clear out the yacht club. I don't know why I decided this, but I was bored, so why not? Okay, and I found an antique oven, which, depending on if we move locations, dude, the antique oven is a super huge find. Basically, you can put it in your fucking building, and it is fired by wood, of course, but it also provides heat and cooking and so it is it is a great fucking find and they've got one just sitting here so that'll be useful when the power goes out yep uh, god we need that fucking welder's mask i think i might find it at the auto shop across the street but the auto shop across the street's like surrounded by like 100 zombies so um Why is, what, what, oh, that's why. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. You, you know what? You, 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 you. All over. And then shovel. Two. Do that. Mm. Keep my saw. Drop, drop the lug wrench. Drop a hammer, drop a ball peen hammer. Okay, that should be that. All right, that's nine out of 35. That makes more sense. Do I not have a saw on me? Or do I have it equipped over here? Oh, okay. I have a saw equipped over there. All right. So oh, no, there's a hammer over here too. So the saw and hammer and ball peen hammer over here can all get dumped as well. Um, yeah, there we go. That feels better. Now, come back for this antique oven, which is weight of 40. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to fucking hurt. <laughs> immediate extreme overweight. Like, just immediate. And your legs are fucking hurt. <laughs> like, sort of shit. Uh, I'm, I'm carrying an antique oven, <laughs> after all. Like, cast iron fucking stove. I'm like, no, I got it. No, don't bother helping me. 
Uh, all right. I'm going to, let's see, more duct tape. Just got to believe. Exactly. Just got to believe, man. All right, I'm going to take some sandbags, too. I don't know what the fuck they're for, but have a protein bar. It'll be fine. Uh, you know what? I'll have a, I'll have a grapefruit. Um, the sandbags, the ba they say the bags can be used as a container if empty as well. So I'm going to take the sandbags. I haven't seen them yet. They're a unique item. So fuck it. We're taking them. I think that's we're closing in on. Uh, no, Karina. I mean, I you know some really good looting here at the factory. I've managed to pull the vehicle into the factory. Yeah, Cassie. Except I could build a better barricade using logs and shit. Like I, I, I think the sandbags may actually be used for flooding, because this is the kind of game that would probably do flooding. Um, let me just read this magazine and stave off any. In incoming boredom. Um, we have a tire pump. Now, you know what? Just do this. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. Sake, just because I have turned off my HUD. There we go. Just finicky as shit. Okay. And now we just back out. Close the door so they don't fucking wander in and fill the factory. All right. Now, how to get into the storage unit is the question. Oh, I saw it. Hey, Esk. Yes, I fucking... Um Buddhist uh, cat and I did some work. Let's just put it that way. We did some fucking work. If you want an invite, ask. Let me know. Karina will get you into on air, on Discord, and I'll get you the invite. Really? Just nothing? Ugh, I'm gonna leave the van running. I got plenty of gas. Fuck it. I'm not I'm not stopping the engine. Do you guys have fog where you are right now? Yeah. Okay. I was wondering. Wondering how regional it is. I'm also on to my second character. I was looking at the map and got nammed. Oh, yeah, don't. You can't. You have to choose those really carefully. Oh, my. Look at what I just found, boys. Even more stuff. Like, all. Ooh. All the stuff. Just all the stuff. All right, I'm going to back the truck into this fucking warehouse. <laughs> Kai has found Box Heaven. Let me see your map real quick, Kai. I'll come there and help you. Oh, I'm shit. a way out. See, I'm over here. Yeah, have fun oh, getting him out of car. Um, actually, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. Well, if you want, you go to the house, hop the fence. The other vehicle's right here. You two can take a road trip. 
It's got a station wagon. In fact, it's got a station wagon with a trailer on it. Make sure the trailer is attached. I'll tell you how to do it when you get there. But if the two of you want to fucking come and we start fucking taking loads, by all means. More relevant than what I was doing. I'm on my way first. I'll find myself on the map first. Oh, God. Driving in isometric view and reversing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll boot the base in a minute. I'm by the school. Oh, nope. Back in. Back in. Turn it off. <laughs> you want to come take some loads? Um, yes, yeah, public. <laughs> uh. Dude, we got a lot of sh we got a lot of fucking tools. Come on, welder's mask. I need a fucking welder's mask. We'll just everything for a fucking welder's mask. Like all the paint. So much plaster. If we wanted to actually like build a house proper. Oh, all the fucking goods for like building metal stuff. I have yet to find a fucking welder's mask though. Like, I'm going to turn this game into debug mode and fucking just spawn one if I have to. Jesus Christ. Um. Jesus fucking Christ. Another antique oven. Yeah, what does it take to get a fucking welder's mask out of this game? Jesus Christ. Uh, Apparently quite a lot. Concrete, bags of concrete. This is just, I mean, this is everything I need except one fucking thing. Hey, welding rods. Yeah, I got I the, got some them earlier. Yeah, I got some too. Still no fucking welding mask. And I found. Use a welding mask. Just weld without it. Your eyes will be fine, I'm sure. Yeah. Found the propane torch. Welding mask. Hey. <sighs> okay. It's only been like a week. Yeah, we only need a fucking uh, uh, a wood axe now to like make that go faster. But now we can just start. I, I'm like, we can just start cleaning this place out now. Dude, this place has so much stuff. Holy shit. I'll wrap it both in like 10 minutes. And we can... Drive that, that way. Well, I'm totally not driving. Caboose, that's on you. Well, I'll try, but I'm not really great at driving either. What the f Potato seeds, fertilizer. All right. We got a proper fucking harvest going, too. Jesus. Um, oh, more potatoes. All right. Hey, a propane tank, too. Uh, I'll show you in a second. I've seen from the map before what's upstairs. I'll show you in a second, Cassie. Let me, let me do the, the loot hound thing. All right. Yeah, I saw some seeds as well, but I was on the hunt for the um, welding mask first. <laughs> so I'll, I'll circle back around. Dude, we want all, like, we want a lot of this shit. We want a lot of this shit. I am taking that second propane torch. Oh. 
All right, so where the fuck is the car? Uh, if you head out directly, like, just head out the front door or the garage door, it doesn't fucking matter, um, you will encounter a too high fence that protects our entire neighborhood, right? Hop the fence. It's right across it. Oh, I'm in the car. There you go. Um, the keys should be in the glove compartment. So in the loot, you'll see, like, and the bottom one is usually the glove compartment. Nope. Cat has taken the keys. Well, so much for this idea then. Yeah, I don't have... I have the the step van, which is the what what oh, I just hold I I just turned it on. Oh, then they were in the ignition already. How do you tell? Um, t- click. You see the ignition? There should be a gray, like a little gray piece. Key in, it. in ignition. Okay. Yeah. Um, How do I get the uh, the trailer to attach? Go stand by the trailer and hold V. It'll bring up a radial menu. Oh, I'm that full. All right. Let's do this. All right, Caleb, you uh, you coming? Uh, yeah, I'm just dumping the can opener in the thing with all the cans because I found one. Now I'll be right out. Is there a horn? Yes, there is. Hold V. Um, Did you hear that? Yeah. I'm heading that one. All right. So, oh, um, okay. So I'm going to hold on to that. That stays with me. I don't need the second propane torch. That can go in the seat. Oh, damn. This car is low on gas. I um, I have a gas can with me full of gas. So as long as you have enough gas to get here, um, we're good. How do I get in the car? Walk up. You got to with- stand by one of the doors. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um. All right. There's that. I'm already in. I'm already in the driver's seat. I'm English. Uh, the driver's seat <laughs> is on the other side. <laughs> I, I, You're not in England right now. I ad- I adore that fucking scene from Ted Lasso. Fucking when he's with the the owner of the football club, and. She walks around to the right-hand side of her Range Rover, and he goes, oh, you want me to drive? And she looks at him. He goes, oh, that's right. I'm the foreigner here. Yep. <clears throat> Fucking, all right. Oh, there's so much shit here. And the back of this one's full. Oh, so much stuff. Wow, you can really get in some speed in this thing. Holy shit. Yes, be careful. It's, dude, I'm telling you, it, and it's squirrely. Uh, oh, God. oh God! Told you. I'm being careful. Um. All right. So the factory was not over here. I was off by a fucking mile on that estimation. But oh, wow. I even like how they put in an animation for like running over a body. Oh shit! I just hit a zombie. Yep, that'll work. That'll happen. It does damage. Uh, how much the damage does that do? It does it, uh, an indeterminate amount. It's the speed. It's where you hit on the vehicle. Uh, percept. Uh, hey, preceptor. It's not necessarily a public server, but it is our community server. Hi, my name's Kai. Um, I actually stream over on politics for the most part, uh, but we do have a community server we run. Uh, send me your. Um, if you get me your like oh, Steam God. ID or some shit like that, I'll add you and I'll send you an invite if you want in. And we can get you on the uh, on on the voice chat as well. <clears throat> right now, there's only three of us playing, but we have a whole bunch of people that play. So uh, it's actually Friday night for us, and we will not be playing for the rest of the night. But we may be playing for like another hour, hour and a half, something like that. Um. So let's see. I want, dude. I want that fucking mechanic shop so badly. 
Uh, yeah, this driving's pretty janky, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's an isometric view for uh, you know Fuck. a vehicle in this game whose controls are already wonky, to say the very least. I just crashed into a car, but the car seems to be doing okay. Um, all right. Actually, before I leave the, the storage. Ooh, itch, 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 itch. There we go. Oh, there are rigs. Okay. Well, yeah, it's this game. Of course there's brakes. I'm surprised it's not a clutch. Okay, more bleach. Don't need it at this time. Man. More bags of concrete. Don't need any of that. Well, at least not for purposes of taking me uh, taking back with me. Um, well, while I'm in here, let's just. And, yeah, fuck it, fill them. No. All right, there's that. Let's check their locker room. Uh. All right, cool. Mm, yeah, I'll take the cigarettes. We now have like a stockpile of fucking cigarettes just in case anybody does spins up a smoker character. They want to keep. Is that an icon actually? Ah. <laughs> fucking bored. <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> Just, I just found, like, everything we've ever needed and wanted. I'm bored. Our characters are such bitches in the, in the apocalypse. I'm sorry. Like, come on. <laughs> uh, can you open up your map again, Kai? I think I got lost. Yeah. Give me a sec. All right. So if you head north up the main, at, main drag, which I'm assuming you did. Yeah, I went too far. Okay. So it curves and you take that curve and then you turn no, it right i went you see the you know the road that goes past the uh the, the area you're in i went further down that road ah okay yeah no we're we're right here on the corner um yeah i you know try not to bring a fucking horde with you is all i can say uh later bobby well, there appears to have been already a horde here. I mean. All right. Oh, you know what? I'll check that other one. Let's unlock that one. No, I don't have them fucking listed. Uh, not. Um, here. Yeah, that's not going to show it to you. Sorry. Um, no. No. We've got a bunch of quality of life. We've got some weapon uh, degradation reduction. Um, we've got some clothing mods. We've got a skateboard mod. We've got, um, let's see, what else do we run? There's a few things. We've got a list, but we don't actually have a list proper because I don't give a shit. Yeah, Aspen. I don't, I don't mind. You know you're welcome, Aspen. Come on. Come to Roxy. there let's see if these vans are available well I just ran over a horde of the zombies and my car seems to be doing okay uh, let's see there's eh. that Oh, oh, well, I was there. Duh. Mm, trunk is unlocked. All right. Um, give me one sec. Let me get to a place where I, I know I'm safe. Preceptor, and then 
Uh, in fact, you know what, Preceptor, just jump on Discord. Send me a fucking uh, a message. Um, uh, hold on, let me move Aspen over while I'm at it. Uh, my name's Kai. You'll see me like on a message right up above. Send me a DM with your your Steam fucking number, ID, bullshit, whatever, uh, or a quick link. I don't give a shit. Just send me any of that, and I'll add you. Um, Aspen, you're in. Do I have you on my list? Who are you? What's up, guys? Uh, way to way to find that uh, light over here. Uh, second door. If I, uh, I'm gonna just go over here. Second door down. Like get near it at least with the trailer. Um, and careful. I these cars are really fucking hard to steer. Yeah, I'm just gonna go way the fuck over here. No, no, no. Uh, down to the side. Where over by him. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. Yeah, there's there's literally doors. The the furthest one will uh, I already kind of open for you. And um, all right, hang on. Uh, let me get you. Um. There we go. Invite sent. Um, and Aspen, are you already on my list? I don't think I am. Okay, send DM me your like Steam friend code number bullshit thing, and after I m put this zombie down or these pair of zombies, I'll uh, get you added and get you an invite. Um, Praetor, I sent you. Uh, I'm sorry, Preceptor. Praetor, uh, Preceptor, I sent you the invite for the friend code fucking thing. Um, let me check if you're. All right. Um, yeah, just like this door. This door is already like just straight up open. Um, just start. Um, gravel bags, sandbags, concrete bags, and plaster bags. Deprioritize them. Tools and oh. e everything else. Prioritize them. Like, everything that isn't, like, bags of heavy shit and, like, planks and, you know, that sort of stuff. All right. Aspen, MB125. Um, there we go. All right. Um, I added, uh, I sent the invite, Aspen. Oh, wait. Friend code fucking... Hang on. Uh, add a friend. All right. There's Preceptor. Invite sent, Preceptor. All right. That... Cancel that one. And Aspen... Yeah, g don't give me your Steam ID. Give me your friend invite code thing. Cancel that invite too. Cool. All right, give me one sec. Uh, preceptor invite sent. Uh, we're in Riverside, Preceptor. If you can already tell. Um, all right. So I am going to while you guys um, loot the ever loving fuck out of this place. Uh, also, you can put stuff in the seats, so you can get in the car and then access the loot list and for the seats, and you can um, you can put stuff in the seats too. So we can literally fill this fucking car. Um, all right, there's Aspen. All right, Santa Aspen, and there we go. Um. And there's Aspen. Invite sent. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna just kill my way over to the hard uh, the the auto shop. See what I can find over there. You guys just came in that way, right? Like, you passed the auto shop. What did it look like? 
Uh, there was a small horde of zombies there. Figures. All right, so I got some work ahead of me. Fair enough. Perceptor said, probably not going to be on voice chat, getting over COVID. So, easiest way to let me know you're doing something, Perceptor, put it into Twitch chat. Because I can see that on my side, side monitor without accessing Discord. Because I got OBS on my top screen right now. So, just a heads up. Jesus Christ, yeah, that's a fucking horde. All right. See what I can do here. So I can get around them. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? All right, I'm a, <laughs> This is gonna be a thing. All right. Oh, a bunch of them just saw me. All right. I just leveled something up. Oh, this could be a thing. All right, I need to line these fuckers up better. Take care of you. There we go. There we go. Ugh. All right. Yeah, Cassie, I don't know how many hijabs we would have seen in 1994 in Kentucky. I have my doubts. Alright. Alright, what the fuck did I level up? Long, blunt, and then something else as well. Sneaking. I leveled sneaking and long blunt. Alright, the auto store is officially entered. We have spare engine parts, we have mufflers, we have jacks, we have toolboxes, we have tire pumps, we have tires, we have more tires. Brakes. Couple of different types of brakes, more spare engine parts. How much does he weigh? Fucking, I'm just gonna take the spare engine parts. Plenty of spare en engine parts. 
You know what? Let's go wait. Oh, yeah, we're doing this. We're taking this. All right, there's that. Take the brakes. I wonder how many there were there. Two. All right. Um, I would probably need a jack. All right. More spare engine parts. Um, muffler. You know what? Muffler can stay. And then... Open and fucking unlock these goddamn front doors. Because we ever need tires. Alright. These fuckers really not notice me? Alright, that horde didn't seem to notice me. So, I'm just gonna make my way up here a little bit. Yep, make my way back across. How's the looting going? It's going pretty good. All right, I'm attempting to make my way back without drawing too much of a... making too much attention or drawing too much attention to myself. Um, Aspen, how's your, how's your start going? Where have you spawned? What have you spawned? Uh. I, I think I'm going to have to restart the program to update my mods properly. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, because the mods should download from the server. Or at least that's the way it works for everybody else. <laughs> so. Yeah, maybe try and invite me one more time. Yeah, sure. give me give me a second. I got crawlers up my ass. Of course. All right. Uh, Aspen. Invite sent. Alright, let's start taking some of these fuckers out. Oh, yeah, this is not a good angle. This is gonna get me in trouble. Alright. That's what happens when you follow me. <laughs> Stay down. I know it's not good for my weapon durability, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta fucking slam a spiked baseball bat into somebody's head. All right. See if I can't repair this thing a little bit. Um. All right. Just me coming up behind you guys, so don't worry. Found another antique oven. I mean, feel free to take it. We're eventually gonna relocate out of this town, so it can't hurt. Um. Mechanics. Uh, you know what? Fucking there. Vehicle mechanics. Now, I believe I have. Yeah, I have the skill. All right. All right. The hood is fucked up, but it's the engine. Oh, I don't even have the fucking mechanic skill to be able to do that. I have to grind mechanics. How the fuck do I grind mechanics? 
She said, can't even fucking repair the fucking trunk. Uh, okay, I could do this with uh, low metal working. There's just that. All right. God damn. It's fucking gating behind. Holy shit. Um... How do I not have a fucking wrench on me either way? Um, all right. So repair engine. Yeah, mechanics level two out of five. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, this fucking game. All right. Um, I'm going to have to build so many more crates when we get back. All right. 23 out of, all right. Yeah, there, nope, 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 that, that one. Take some planks so I have them as soon as I need to build them when I get back. Um, all right, I'm- Holy shit. I am 47 out of 14. Yes, for, it's you just, you just, oven. you picked up the oven. Yeah, I was like, that's, that's the fucking oven if there ever was. Um, An extremely heavy load. Yep. If you can, um, if you can pull forward when you have a chance, it won't fit. Um, so I can get out and then uh, get back to the base and start building some fucking uh, storage because we are going to need it. Boost, can you pull the car forward? Oh, yeah, just a second. Not worth eating it. There's that. I'll head out this way so I pull them at least this direction. Black vans are interesting. I'm going to want to look at those. We're in Riverside, right? We are. Beautiful. Time to do some reading. It's not even reading, Cassidy. I need I need mechanics to be up, so I need to grind mechanics somehow. I've got the 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 skill boost already on it. Like I've got the XP boost from reading. I just need to grind the level. I also need metalworking, but I can start working on metalworking now that I have a fucking welder's mask. Dude, it's been it's been forever finding that fucking welder's mask. I'm I'm convinced there isn't one in Riverside. <laughs> it's 
stupid fucking town doesn't even have one welder. It really doesn't make much sense because little towns like this love welders. Yeah, I know, right? Dude, I've got a welder right down the fucking... I've got a fabricator right down the street from me. Like, he, he literally is basically my neighbor. Like, <laughs> I've got a fabricator right down the fucking street from me. Oh, no, no, no. It's a dead end. Oh, I just stalled. There we go. Stuck in the grass. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's not good. Oh, fuck this vehicle up at this rate. Uh, you know what? It's worth doing, actually. Fucking getting a vehicle and towing all of the cars that are just parked in the middle of the road. Because you can tow. You can just drive up and fucking attach your vehicle and tow shit. Just so we have, like, free reign to not run into shit randomly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've caused some minor damage to our car. Oh, I fucking, I know I have. <sighs> That's right. so why I want to be able to repair this shit, but I can't until I get to level five fucking mechanics. Can't. Can't work on an engine unless you're like literally like halfway to to being an, a master mechanic. <laughs> like I I I grabbed a fucking guide and a toolkit and was working on my first car's engine, no problem with zero experience. Like it it doesn't require that. All right. Ignition, hop out. All right. Cleaning liquid and bleach. You know what? Fucking, how am I going to do this? We are definitely going to have to make multiple trips here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, Like, we don't have to do them all tonight either, but the fact of the matter is, is you know, I wanted to get it started at least. Uh, You know what? I'm going to fucking take this plant. Seriously? I'm that full? What am I... Oh, that's right. I'm sitting on that shit. Alright. Let's fucking start. Alright, Caleb, ready? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. There we go. That's what we're doing. Caleb, you're muted. I forgot I mute myself when I'm vaping. Yeah, let's go. Um, how do I not have any fucking nails on me? I almost always carry nails. All right, box of nails. There we go. Box of nails. Open a box of nails. Uh, found a welder's mask and a propane torch. I fucking hate you, Perceptor. Where, where in town did you find it? Or you are in Riverside, right? Where'd you find it? Now that we fucking found one, it'll start spawning them. Watch. You about to say, is this one of those games where you find loot and suddenly it's more common? Oh, well, yeah, right where you just left the factory warehouse. Okay, well, then, yeah, no, that's... <laughs> if you had found it in Riverside, I'd be annoyed. Like, Riverside proper. I'd be like, yeah, we looked for fuck ever for one of those. But yeah, it's been like a week worth of playing, trying to find a welder's mask and a wood axe. Karma for driving right past me. I, I've got my welder's mask. 
I got a couple of propane torches. I've got my torches. I've got my welder's mask. There's no karma there. But I didn't see you. I would have picked you up. Actually, I couldn't have picked you up. The uh, second seat is full in the van. Oh, you can still sit in the seats when they're full. Really? Yep. That's stupid. Yep. That's that's a level of... Stupid. Yeah, that shouldn't be that way. Just look over here. Oh, apparently, I'm bleeding. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, I need to ditch some of this shit so I can actually carry some of this shit. All right, um, car parts. All the car parts are going in here. I presume you just ran into something at speed. I ran into a street light, but um, it's, it's still saying everything's okay. Yeah, well, it, although apparently my gut, my guy didn't like that. Yeah, it it won't actually. Because uh, it's now I'm saying I am uncomfortable and injured. Yeah, you can you can absolutely kill yourself in a car crash in this game. God damn it! I've That's got... surprisingly immersive. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 I know Astro. I'm looking at it right now. That was the oh, comment. Um, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. We'll we'll ditch that as soon as I'm back over here. Um. Jack can go there as well. Not only am I not ca I'm carrying a brake, I'm carrying multiple brakes. Oh. All right, now carpentry, furniture, container, great. The fuck did I just hit? Oh, no, oh, I hit a tree. Okay, I'll put one over here. What the fuck are you doing? All right. There's some overflow containers because we're going to need them. Uh, the neighbor's house in their garage, I've set up uh, storage crates. Uh, I am of the opinion that we sort later. Dump first. Fair enough. Sounds good to me. Um... Because I am going to be fucking miserable with all the shit I'm about to move. I am going to... There were there are a couple of things that I'm going to hand sort. For sure. Um, also, I put the key into the uh, glove box. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, from the gas station or siphoning from other ve uh, vehicles, non-binary. And if the power is out, you have to take a generator to the gas station and hook it up to the gas pumps. And then you can uh, turn that on and then you can siphon gas that you can get gas that way. But basically, yeah, siphoning gas from vehicles and or the gas station if the power is still on and or you have blah, blah, blah. All right. Um... So, where was I putting... Yeah, it was over here. Okay, so there's we have 16 water bottles, in case anyone needs them. Um, and then... Cigarettes don't go, go over here. Cigarettes go on the shelf. 
There we go. We have 578 cigarettes <laughs> and and some weed if anybody needs it. Oh no, we have far more than that. It's just overflown, uh, uh, overflowing. Um, let's see. All right. Oh no, we'll oughta all do it. Fucking, I will sort it one of these evenings. Like that's that's the sort of thing. Like I'm. <sighs> Look, I I wish I could trust you guys to sort correctly. <laughs> We don't even know what your sorting scheme is, though. Well, I mean, that's we would have to come up with one and agree with one, and then like everybody would have to understand it and know it. And so, like you know, like I said, all right, let me put these rain barrels out. Uh, I cooked pancakes in the oven, and it spawned for pancakes. Uh, Preceptor rolled a fucking si uh, a smoker and just said, no wonder I couldn't find any cigarettes in town. My poor guy's tweaking right now. Yeah, we may have all of the cigarettes, just saying. One may, he means definitely. I mean, you know, we may have expropriated some goods here and there. Appropriated everything. It's good talk. All right, rain barrels are down outside. Um, I'll come there in the morning. At least you left me two, uh, two crowbars. You're welcome. Um, let's see. Uh, no, Cassidy, they do not. I You can just place rain rain barrels anywhere. That's a hundred percent a thing we can do. Is this no? That's the boozy one. Um, all right. Yep, they just magically fill with water. That is that is how it works. And don't let the fucking devs hear anything because God knows those assholes would be like, "You're right. We could make that more realistic." And now we're building rain gutters. <laughs> All right. There's the wood glue. Cool. Um, chrome microwave. Just put that in my inventory. All right. <laughs> Not an ANCAP, but has a monopoly on cigarettes. How curious. Yes, I'm smart. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, God, no. Sewing kits don't go out here. How the fuck did that? All right. Nails, stay with me. Um... That, 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 all can go over here. I got, I got a bunch of fucking duct tape. They took back the means of nicotine. Yep. Um, put the plank back, and then the two sewing kits. Is there a way I can just dump all into a container? Transfer all. Or you can do like a file selection highlight using shift click. Your call. Control click also works. All right. Sewing kits go over here. All right. Let's put the cleaning products where the cleaning products go. Um, bleach. Bucket. Might be a Zapatista. <laughs> All right. Um, boom. All right, we got a bunch of bleach. We could cl start cleaning this place up. All right. And then bags went over here. And then, oh, yeah, that's right. Hang on, where is it? 
place item. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely where I wanted to put that. You know what? There. Goes in the corner. All right, we have a microwave now. Hey, cat. Cat, we raided the factory, got so much shit, and we're not even close to looting that place out. We got so much shit, but I was doing your fucking job, Cat. Fucking out there, just, just taking down hordes. Yeah, Astral. Yeah, we got, we got electricity. For now. And we have backup generators, too. So it, it, when the electricity cuts, we still have electricity. Uh, is your character chronically depressed now? No. No, my character's not a little bitch like yours, Cat. <laughs> Cat's, char Cat's character goes out and murders like a uh, hundred zombies and then gets like depressed over it. <laughs> mine goes hey, out. People. Yeah, mine goes out and fucking just gets entertained. Dude, I'm telling you, Roxy's fucking, uh, uh, Roxy's a fucking just big dick psychopath. She just goes out there with a fucking baseball bat and is like, yeah, now this is what I missed. Um, all right. All of the tools. Oh, guilt-free violence. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. <laughs> My girl's a fan of guilt-free violence. What can I say? You know what? Fucking um, just control A, drop the sandbags, drop the gas can. Take the rest of it. Something, something, duality of your mom. Cat said, I'm surprised it isn't a perk debuff thing. Zombie hunter. Fucking, yeah. No, that'd be a fun fucking perk. Like... Uh, zombie hunter gets depressed when they're not out hunting zombies, gets bored and depressed when they're not out hunting zombies, but you go out and it like solves a whole bunch of shit, depression, like happiness, boredom, panic, all that shit just goes away. Like if like, the calm comes over them when they, when they go out hunting, that would be, that would be a solid fucking run. All right, let's see. These, this is, uh, that's that shit. There's that. Um, all right. So we got so much fishing gear. Oh, God damn it. All right. Just give me some, give me some planks. Well, hopefully all this weightlifting is going to increase my character's strength. Yeah, Preceptor. Yeah, we hit the school. I mean, there's probably a few things in there um, that, you know, are usable, but yeah, we, we, we hit them. Um, can I? Yeah, I'm going to disassemble this shit. Uh, there are hunger. There are perks for that. Uh, Walata. Yeah, for the hunger thing. Yeah, there are perks for it. <laughs> 420. Uh, we missed it. Yeah, one of these days we're going to have to have an in-game and IRL smoke session at 420. We'll see if we can't make that happen. Um. All right. Carpentry, furniture, container, wooden crate. There we go. Uh, yeah, cat. We're not going to be on. Uh, we'll probably be on for another hour. Um, that's what I'm thinking. We'll stop around 1030 sort of territory and then we'll start doing bad movie night. All right. Um, 
Okay, the lighter stays, the lug wrench. Oh, shovel can go. Trowel can go. The multiple wrenches can go. Club hammer can go. I'm pretty sure. What am I carrying on me? Hammer, hand axe, saw, propane. Okay, so I'm pretty sure all of this. Uh, you know what? Oh, no, no, no. What the? There we go. Weird. All right, so I have a shovel over here. Hand axe, saw, propane torch. All right. Do I have a screwdriver over here? No. Okay, cool. Um, might as well pick this shit up. Tire pump. It's that one. Okay. Unusable metal. Just junk. All right, fine. I'll pick it up. And then it goes in the junk, junk bottle, uh, box. I need to just start disassembling shit, apparently. Propane and propane accessories. Goddamn right. Although I do disagree. I cook with propane, uh, propane primarily outside. I actually disagree with Hank Hill. Uh, you get better flavor out of a... Uh, out of a charcoal fire. You get the best flavor out of a wood fire, like me. I mean, you know, anything other than gas. Yeah, but it's so much fucking easier to cook with gas. Gas just fucking works. It's true. Um, if you get like a chimney starter for uh, for your charcoal or whatever. It works. Uh, yeah, like lump charcoal. Exactly, Cassidy. If you get like a, a chimney starter for your charcoal, then that fucking, that that puts in work. Um, Is that like that big ass like can with the handle on it and stuff? Yeah, yes. and then you light your charcoal in it and just dump it out and it just works. Yeah. I've got two of them. We've got one for the yard and one that we take to like the beach and stuff with us when we cook in the summer. Charcoal they doesn't taste like nail polish remover, Rev. Lighter fluid does. And that's why most people don't have a good experience with charcoal. Is because they had food prepared by an idiot. Yeah, I was going to say, who the fuck uses uh, any sort of like flammable liquid to light stuff they're going to eat on? People who don't know any better. I was going to say, how dumb do you have to be? But then I remembered most of you are American. No offense. Um, where do I want to put this? Uh, you Unfortunately, know what? Unfortunately, charcoal, charcoal barbecues are now illegal here. Alcohol. Uh, because it's fucking fire zone, basically, for him. He's out in the woods and shit. Yeah, well, there's also an inciting incident. <laughs> As there always is. Fucking out-of-towners, man. I fucking hate them sometimes. Don't get me started on out-of-towners. I live in a little tourist trap on the coast of England, and every summer is a nightmare. There's, like, one-way streets that cars will consistently try and drive up and then, like, honk their horn at people coming down them who won't move because it's a one-way street. I hate them. I hate them so much, and I hope they all fill the blank. Uh, where, where I live, we got, like, lots of very windy roads and shit, and we have so many fucking roads that are just, like, right on the edge of a cliff. So many fucking flatlanders come up and just, like... I'm scared. Just right. the hog of the fucking roads. Yeah, basically. All right, so can I? All right, so this, 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 and this all need like. Um... Okay, so these are these are mounted. All right, these are on my belt already. There, that gets me that. And you know what? Fucking, these do not need to be. Those can be in my backpack too. And then the plank can go back there. You use lump charcoal with a chimney starter or an old coffee can with holes punched in the bottom and a fire starter to light them. Yep, exactly, Cassidy. Um, 
All right, a couple more. Oh, you know what? Yeah, a couple more sandbags. If you live anywhere near a coast as well, driftwood barbecues just make your food taste amazing. All right. So I'm going to use a sandbag. Place item. Why, is there something special about driftwood or something? It's full of sea salts and stuff. And I don't know. I'm not some sort of scientist. But all I know is I use driftwood on my barbecues and my food tastes better. So. Um, huh. Okay, there we go. Duffel bag can go in the closet. Another duffel bag. And all right, well, our the, the uh, sedan is completely empty. Hey, look at that. We got plenty of garbage bags now. We got all that shit. We got all that shit. You know what? I don't need to be carrying a fucking crowbar and a pipe wrench either. Um, wrong door. This is all tool overflow. So pipe wrench, crowbar. Those can go in as well. Um... You want me to take the stuff out of the van and put it in the storage? Uh, or do you want to be more? You mean the uh, like the what's in the ch uh, the seat? Because that's all that's left. Yeah, the there. seeds and the propane torch. Um, yeah, you know what? I I know, I'm gonna just drop those in exactly where they're they're gonna end up anyway. So. All right. Oh no no! It says seat occupied. You can't get into a full seat. I sat in a full seat in the sedan. No, you didn't. You back. sat in an empty seat. I watched you. Yeah. Oh. It's. It, I'm. I'm looking at it. It tells you straight up, fucking seat occupied. Oh, right. Whenever there was a, I was looking at the like the little minion stuff. You see the What's things up, on the side. Whenever you got in a seat, it would disappear. Um. How you doing, Ray? We're just uh, playing a little Zomboid. Cats can be joining us on the air soon, shortly as well. We got, uh, oh, we got a few people in that aren't on the list either. Aspen's here, Caboose is here, Caleb's here. Uh, somebody from the uh, uh, Zomboid community, Preceptor, is in the server right now as well. And like I said, Cat will be joining us shortly uh, for a little bit before Bad Movie Night kicks off. All right, there's that. Um. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use that fertilizer on the fucking plants out back. That's what I'm going to do. Um, Where's our cigarette overflow? There's our cigarette overflow. Um, all right. And where are... You know what? Are there are there magic pancakes? There's magic pancakes. I'm gonna cook the magic pancakes and eat them. Yeah, uh, the magic pancakes spawned when I cooked some magic pancakes. See, I'm telling you, kid. Whatever that glitch is, I'm not gonna look to fix it. It is what it is, and you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> That's that simple. Fuck. <laughs> Unlimited pancakes, all for the win. Um. Let's see. Also, apparently somewhere along the lines, I've lost my belt. Uh, there's got to be one somewhere, so. Um, Knowing me, this character is not long for this world anyway, so. All right, there's that. God damn it. Fucking, sometimes the selection. All right, eat those. Turn off. All right, eat that. And eat that. Yeah, we learned our lesson about turning off the oven. All right. Pancakes are eaten. And oh, the popcorn's already burnt? Dude, it was in there for fucking no time whatsoever. I literally walked to the stove, ate fucking... You know what? Fuck this game. Zero out of ten. <laughs> <sighs> ten out of ten, idea. Um, There. Was that compost or something? Yeah. Um, all right. Is there a settings? Yeah, there is. 
It's even fairly low. Fuck this game. That's a, realism. Dude, I have, I honestly, I haven't made microwave popcorn since I was probably, I don't know, fucking 14 or 15. I, I make popcorn correctly. <laughs> And by that, you, mean you don't make popcorn because popcorn is terrible. Fucking, I don't make it, but if I were going to make it, yeah, I'd just make it on the stove. Um, all right. Grind one. Okay. Roll a joint. <laughs> I just ground some weed and rolled a joint. Oh... Uh, all right, where's a lighter? Where's a fucking lighter? <laughs> oh, okay. Fucking let's let's unequip the welder's mask. Let's we're gonna do some washing here. Not enough soap. Where's my soap? Grab a cleaning liquid. Now let's well first drink. And I'm gonna wash myself. Yep, we're gonna fucking. I'm gonna get cleaned up here, and I'm gonna fucking. Let's see. Hang on. Where is joint? All right. Yeah. Keep the welder's mask and smog myself. Oh. Uh, and. <laughs> uh, I where I am. I'm by the school. Which way should I head? Um, oh, okay, here, let me pull my map. Are you watching the stream? Yeah. All right. So here's the school. There's you. Here's us. Yeah, you're just basically heading walk, south. Walk straight down and enter through here. You'll see a pair of white cars here. Enter through there and just hop the fences and come straight back that way. Do not, a com do not come around the sides. Just come straight through that fucking community. Okay. Cool. See you in a bit. Um, okay. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Um, fucking wash. Wash your ass, Roxy. you fucking filthy. Although it doesn't bother me. It bothers Cat's character. <laughs> Roxy says, Cat rolls out these fucking, like, brawler, strong fucking characters. And they're, like, completely weak of character. <laughs> they go out... They're built for the apocalypse. They're, like, built to just crush zombie skulls all day, every day, with no exhaustion, with no fucking hesitation. And they go out there and they just get depressed doing it. My, meanwhile, my girl Roxy is like, you know what? not really built for it. I'm just kind of, you know, I'm a carpenter and, you know, I used to be a firefighter and she just gets, like, she goes out and crushes skulls and just gets, like, you know, happy. <laughs> Uh, the amount of detail I learn about every time I see people play this is wild. Oh my god. Da Ash, this is why I love this game. It's why I love this game. Um, despite the, the microwave popcorn burning easily, which is easily a 0 out of 10 situation. Um, this game has reality modeled more than any other game I've seen. Um, so, yeah. All right. Roxy. Fucking smoking the first joint. Let's smoke the fucking joint. I got to grind up the weed. I got to roll the joint. And now I get to smoke the joint. <laughs> oh, fucking A. Cat's playing. Hold on. Where is Cat? Yes, yes. Invite sent. Thank you. You, you just caught that, right? Yeah, the, the, my, my characters do. I've been watching the whole time. I've just been playing a game. Oh, no, no, game. no, the, the, the fact that fucking I, I have a weed grinder. I fucking have. Weed. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. I saw that, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was about to ask, like, I, I'm assuming that we got the harvest going and shit. With uh, the, weed. the harvest has not happened, but I've been finding weed. Um, oh, okay. Fucking. Yeah. And Bro, we are growing apocalypse weed. Yeah. And yeah, nonsense. We've got weed growing in the backyard, too. Fuck. I got a I got a phase going here. Here's here's some young cannabis. It's flourishing. I nice. really do. I love. I love this game. <laughs> it's fucking. It's stupid. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Um, uh, yeah. So we did the we did the factory run, and I got to the part uh, the car parts store. I have a welder's fuck. Oh, uh, fucking welder's mask. Um, oh, it's because of other stuff. Wolada. Um, Hello. And so yeah, fucking. 
Oh, uh, you got your, your metal bat. Uh, do you need anything before you do what you do? As I got a rotten onion. Um, you want to take that? Yeah, drop it on the ground. I'll put it in the compost. Uh, also, you can take this nightstick. I'm not going to use it. Okay. You can go in the closet. All right, boyos. <laughs> Good luck, cat. Yeah, I'll try not to die again. Um, all right, so... Nightstick goes in the... Oh, our, our weapons closet has gotten fucking full. All right, I'll need to build a fucking thing in there. Let me go deal the... Deal with this. Um, it's my rotten onion. And I need to return the cleaning liquid, too. Cleaning liquid. Uh, what's a POI that I should be looking to hit right now? Um... A zombie fertilizer weed does the same thing as human ashes fertilizer. Oh yeah, you actually right. You can you can bury the zombies and then put um, uh, furrows. You can you can plant on top of them. Um, okay, well to be fair, cat, you kind of probably. Okay, here's you want a mission, cat? I'll give you a fucking mission. Go. Yeah, it was good. Go unhitch the trailer. Take the the station wagon. And go visit the um, factory and storage area, but don't visit the factory and storage area. Um, over here, if you're watching my map, there's a pair of yeah. black vans, like straight up old school FBI plumber vans that we're not surveilling you with type black vans. Um, there's, right. a, there's a pair of black vans in that parking lot. There's a bunch of sw uh, like h hordes around this area. That's the, the, the car parts store. I had to fight my way in there. Um, check if check around the parking lot for keys for those black vans and the black vans themselves. Check if there's keys. I'd like those black vans. There's a lot of storage in them. They'd be good for hauling. You know what? I'm, as just to showcase how meat my characters are, I'm just gonna run there. I, I won't risk the car. Really? Because that's a really long run. My character is I, literally I, I, built for I, it. I know you can do it. But it will literally take like five, seven minutes for him to run there. Hey, you know. Okay. And I want to level up my sprinting. All right, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. It's a level. Th it's already at level three right now. Yeah, it's in front of a diner. Correct, Cassidy. It's it's in front of a diner. There's a pair of black Ooh. vans. Um, and yeah, just just scope those for us, please, and thank you. Yeah. All right. So basically, just. And you know, Head down the street. Yeah, murder everything in sight while you're there, of course. Yes, of course. You know, as is tradition. Finally a cigarette. Hey, Preceptor's in the house. What's up? Fucking um There's Preceptor. What's up? Glad you enjoyed your cigarette. Alright, I need to build some overflow storage for uh, carpentry, furniture, container, wood crates. Can I build it there? You're not going to walk anywhere like a doofus? No, you're not. Cool. And then cat gets eaten by zombies on the way. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, no, that's happened before. Just one bite dead. Yeah, um, yeah pray, uh, 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 Preceptor. I keep saying Praetor. Uh, Preceptor, uh, so you know, it's insta-death on the server. Um, we are bite transmission only, classic zombie lore. Um, uh, and But we are insta-death insta if you catch it. None of that wandering around shit. Um, all right, so nightsticks dropped. Uh, I don't need the lighter. Yeah, I just ran past. I just ran past some of the violence that I inflicted. Um, Satisfying. So all and drink. All right. So that's. Oh, let's see. I will take one of these. Hey, Kai, could you red pill me on the sneak? Um, dude, the sneak is useful, but it's situational, right? Oh, like okay. that's like the sneak is super useful for when you're like trying to ditch a bunch around a corner and shit like that. But for the most part, you're not actually trying to sneak when you walk most places. Yeah. 
Um, but when you're doing the like horde ditch um, sort of meta, yeah, they're they're super fucking useful. Um, all right, where's a bowl? I need a bowl. How else can you get sick by zombies? The air? Uh, well, a lot of, in fact, it, there's blood transmission as well. If you get a scratch, a scrape, a laceration, or a deep cut on you, and you hit a zombie at the same time, and blood splatters onto your wound, and it depends where the wound is, it depends on the armor or clothing over that wound, uh, and then there's a dice roll on top of that based on a variety of elements, then you could catch the virus that way as well. Can you, like, Bro, add I just me to the safe house or something so I can actually interact with stuff? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me add caboose. Oh, hang on. There As we go. Aspen. There. Wait. Um. What does it take to defrost? You know what? I'll just hang on to it in the meantime. Oh, and there is such thing as tainted water, but it doesn't carry the virus. It doesn't carry the, like, zombie shit. It just, like, can fuck your stomach up, make you sick and nauseous and shit like that. But, like, actual tainted water. Yeah. Like, properly tainted water. Oh, Caleb, you weren't here. Um, Caleb, if you look at your look at my screen, what you'll see is when you walked away that one night and just went AFK, your character starved to death in the backyard. So we gave your character, knowing that you are a, a very proud card-carrying goth, we gave your character a, a, a proper Christian funeral. So we, we buried your character with, with a cross and everything. We, we figured we'd honor your beliefs. Fun times. Um, Caleb has gone right. AFK again. <laughs> well, here's so something I we could do another like burial. Mechanics for beginners? Yes. Uh, I'm still not even level one yet. No, 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 no. It's not how that works. That's an XP oh. bonus. That's a buff. Uh, You'll notice there's a yeah, series of arrows. That's, yeah. Hover over mm -hmm. one of the squares and you'll see a multiplier number. That's your XP buff that you got from the book. So in other words, I have to do something mechanical. Uh-huh. Yeah, so uh, fix cars, fix cars, disassemble shit. Like, you know, just that sort of bullshit. So let's see. That's that. All right. I need to go on a disassembly spree in the neighborhood with my welder's mask and my torch now. Um... You know what? I don't even give a shit. I'm just going to fucking ditch this bowl and eat the fruit as it thaws. Uh, so any goals I should be helping towards? Um, you know what? Uh, I mean, if you want to try and catch up with Cat, by all means, you're welcome to. Um, Maybe but, you can pick me up in the car, too. Um, I'm like, um, you know where the shopping like uh, street is? I basically just cleared that. I'm at the gas station right now. Or somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, Preceptor, you could always, you could always go fishing. Frankly, I don't know how your views on fishing are, um, but we have got plenty of fishing gear, and I forget where the fucking worms are. We've got we've got a couple of worms, um, and we've got plenty of fishing gear proper. We could use some frozen fish for sure to stockpile. Like, this freezer over here is completely empty, and if it were full of fish, that would be a really nice thing. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be useful. Um, let's see. Empty bowl, empty bowl. Let's do that. Oh, perfect. There's some soda at the gas station. All right. And ingredients. Make a quick fruit salad. Oh, and we'll just 
eat the fruit salad. Apparently grapes don't belong in a fruit salad in this game's opinion. For fucking real? Yep. Um, Damn. And eat the grapes. All right. There's that. Fed. Uh, can you make wine in this game? I don't know. I don't think so, but there's got to be a mod for it. You know what? I've seen the brewing and distilling oh, mod. Or hey, Kai, I found another trailer. Uh, fucking, well, if we get another vehicle. Yeah. All right. Oh. Can I? I can disassemble. All right, cool. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Preceptor. It's only it's only online when we're playing actively. Uh, this is metalworking, I think. Oh, will we be on tomorrow? Um, probably tomorrow night. Yeah, probably around this time sometime. Hey, Kai, you mind doing me a favor and showing me where I'm supposed to be heading again? I've reached the outskirts of town. Okay. So there's like a road that curves and then comes over here and down here just junction. And then you take it up. Uh, you okay, take cool. It right. And I'm on that road right now. I'm just, I was just making sure if that yeah, was you the take right it, road. When you get yeah, to and the, then there's another. When you get yeah. to the T, yeah. take a right. Yeah. I am like, uh, yeah, I'm at the T. Dude, my bitch is so weird. Fuck it. If I'm smashing fucking zombie skulls in, she's fucking... But, like, I would be so entertained. Got a fucking welding torch and shit, and we're just cutting shit apart in a house, just disassembling, like, sinks and shit with a welding torch. I'd be so entertained. She's like, I'm bored. Have you ever used a cutting torch before? Yes. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Yeah. There's no way you're going to be bored. Yeah, it's fun as fuck. You'll hold off oh, fishing until disagrees. tomorrow night. All right. Yeah, she does, but, you know... She and I have a very a few personality disagreements. Then Preceptor, feel free to loot, kill, clear things out. Like if you just want to spin out in a spiral, the rest of the community in the surrounding area, um, feel free to do that and just start taking shit apart. Yeah, by all means. I'm just now disassembling all the sinks and toilets in the neighborhood. <laughs> this one does. Yep. Failed to produce any usable materials. Imagine that. Um. Well, I will disassemble these two, though, for the XP. Who was Floyd Ma? Does anybody know? Not a clue. Uh, prey, nope. prey just put him down. I'm, I'm guessing. Oh yes. Uh, not with the propane torch astral, but oh yes, you can burn zombies very much. Yep. Thanks for the boots. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, the astral, you can definitely, you can burn everything in this game, including concrete and bricks. We're, we're so gun shy about fucking fire in this game. <laughs> uh, All right. And I am officially fucking lost. Show me. Do you have a screen share going? Uh, let me get one going. All right. Give me a sec. All right. Show me your map. Fucking. Right about there. Okay. So you're over uh, here. You notice you're 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 up here somewhere. Wait. Okay, yeah, somewhere in there. Okay, so you need to like. I need to go back down to the main road. Yeah, go down to the main main road and follow it until you find the T. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because that's the thing. There was a, there was a there was a few T's that came a little early, can and you, I guess I took one of them. Can you even melt steel beams? <laughs> um, you know what? Maybe there's some steel beams in the factory that I have to I'd have to take a hand at and see. Watch it collapse the factory and kills your character. Oh, well. That would be a very fitting end to Kai's character. Yeah. Fucking. All right. Pop that back up. Um, yeah. For anybody who wants to see my character stats, there you go. 
Might as well do the... Yeah, but your carpentry is coming a ways. <sighs> I need level 7, but... Yeah, I need mechanics level 5, I need metalwork level 2, and I need carpentry level 7. That's that's where we are on those. I literally just have, like, fitness stats and an axe stat. That's it. Just leave that there for the time being. I like having it up. I don't mind it. Oh, it's good for stream stuff too. For people yeah. to say. Stream likes streams streams love seeing the XP number go up. Yeah. Alright. Ever used a plasma cutter? You know what? I haven't. In real life, no, I haven't used a plasma cutter, but I've been around somebody who was using a plasma cutter. And it I've is, used a plasma cutter. It, it it's fun, right? Like it's it looks fun. Yeah. Um it's tricky. It's not as easy as they make it look. I mean that that goes with most of that sort of stuff. The uh the pr the oxygen accelerating cutters are way fucking easier to use. <laughs> Numbers go up as it is in America. What is what is gunsmithing and bullet making? Gunsmithing and bullet making is just that. Uh, it's aiming and reloading. I think that's fires a, a, a reloading, uh, or maintenance potentially. All right. Um. Anything in here I need to disassemble? Nope. Oh, right, here we go. More toilet and sink shit. Metal working's coming. CNC. What does it mean when it says recipe basic mechanics? Um, what are you looking at? Give me context. I'm, I'm looking at a uh, a car just in the middle of the road. Okay. And I wanted to un disassemble some stuff, and it says recipe required. Wrench, one out of one. Recipe, basic mechanics. Recommended skill mechanics, zero out of three. Yes, okay, so you need a level three mechanics, and you may or may not have the tools necessary to do it as well. Well, it says the only thing I'm missing is recipe, basic mechanics. Oh, well, then there's probably a magazine that you need to read to work on it. And because there are magazines that contain that sort of information, like how to make a, a fishing, uh, a fishing rod is actually contained within a magazine and you have to read the magazine. I have hit the T. All right. Bust a right. Head up the street. All right. Um, where's the, yeah, there's this, 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 this. Shelf. That's interesting. My nimble's going up just by sprinting. There's a few things that contribute to nimble. Damn it, I should have taken the rest of them sodas. Alright, how far? 60 out of 75. Alright. On to the next house. on the shelf okay I will take the bandage everything else gets dumped to the floor um, long blunt yeah uh, long blunt is the baseball bat basically planks baseball bats hockey sticks shit like that that's all long blunt even though mine's not too blunt since I uh, fucking put uh, spikes in it <laughs> but yeah yeah, working on it. Almost, you know, we're partway through level three. Um, might as well disassemble the door. Might as well get the carpentry too while we're here. Oh, and crowbar, Prey says. Yep, sorry, Preceptor, but I, I am prone to shortening everybody's name to the first syllable if I can get away with it. So, I can't do that to left slash song. Just fuck it. It's just like, hey, Asian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Asian left is Asian song these days, cat. If you didn't know that. Good to know. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the lore it. continues to expand. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bad look when you're like, "What's up, Asian?" 
Uh, but he's fine with laughter song. Yeah. You guys talking about my tattoo? What? <laughs> still, still makes me fucking chuckle. Like, what the fuck, man? Uh, uh, trying to figure out if I would love or hate this game to play myself. Can't figure it out. Maybe I should try it. Dude, Walata, if you had asked me whether I wanted to play a game like this three years ago, I'd be like, I would rather hit myself in the in the face with a hammer than play a game like this. It took me a lot of watching people play this game before I understood for myself what it was that this game, why this game was like holding my attention for some reason. And it's the depth of the mechanics. That's what gets me. Yeah, you will you will hate love it. No, uh, it, Preceptor's right. Like your first your first like twenty hours with this game is an abusive relationship, for sure. It, it's very much an abusive relationship. Once it starts to click, once you start to understand the systems, especially the combat. Once the combat clicks, and then you start to understand the under uh, underpinning systems, then your true feelings about the game will come out one way or the other. A hey, first level of metalworking done. Yeah, it's this this game. This game is neither a hate nor lo uh, hated or love it situation. It's a you will you will have both feelings about it. Somebody die in a varsity jacket around the factory? Um, maybe. Yeah, because I just picked a bat off of somebody. I mean, we didn't. Or a fucking not a bat, a <clears throat> fucking a bag off of somebody. Yeah. Oh no, they've had a bunch of bags over there, dude. I took some duffel oh. bags. Yeah, we do not need more bags. Just FYI. Um, if you well, if I you see an, it anyway. if you see an upgrade for yourself, grab it. But yeah, we don't we don't necessarily need them. Um, but no, there was a bunch of people walking around with backpacks and shit over there. Ooh, boy, that's a big ass crowd. Told you. Are there th are there fucking are there fountains in the factory? Uh, there's like drinks. Yeah, well, you, 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 there's plenty of stuff. Dude. There's like a, a fucking yeah. canteen in there and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to take a pit stop. Yeah. Because my character is a little dehydrated, a little tiny bit, the normal amount. I think I cleaned out all the the water bottles though. So. Well, I just need a sink. So. Alright. Man, I need to wash this blood off of me. You... Character's such a pansy for being such a badass. You know? Fuck. First door I try it is locked. That bodes well. There we go. Alright. Ugh, this fucking carpentry. Ooh. Just fucking. I am lucky. I literally just found a fountain. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, we're just, now we're just grinding fucking carpentry and metal working. Fucking first level of metal is done. I've got the two, first two of mechanics, but, ugh. Damn. Character's already feeling a little sad. Jesus Christ. You, you know what? You need to take antidepressants. <laughs> you think it's just straight up clinical depression at this point? It, it well, the antidepressants slow the tick rate of the unhappiness so whatever at whatever rate that you're gaining unhappiness we can slow the that tick rate at least using the antidepressants so nice. yeah like we have them might as well fucking use them did you ever get a bottle of vitamins too uh no i haven't taken it i can't get any yet jesus christ <laughs> yeah trust me my character is just fucking built different <laughs> Yeah, I he got tired twice on the way here, just straight sprinting and fighting. Again, he could have gotten tired not once. Still though, that's I, you know, he'll like, hey, you know, where I'm, I'm, I'm a, a silver a medal Olympian. Yeah, I can make you a gold medal Olympian. Just take these fucking pills, dude. I'm just like nah. Um, natty for life. Fuck natty. Uh, <laughs> Natty's for suckers. It is. Um, the real nice. answer. My character's also experiencing a severe panic attack. Uh, yeah, well, a lot of yeah. There's a variety of things that contribute to happiness and unhappiness. Um, but yeah, 
Um, there's uh, the mass murdering seems to bother Cat's character more than mine. Uh, a good meal will make you happy. Being around other human beings will sometimes make you happy, depending on your character role. Um, yeah, there's a variety of things that do that. Okay, so theoretically, this desk should do level six carpentry for me. Theoretically. Nice. It's fucking. Nope. Oh, so that is true, Luata. Literally anything else. My character, my character, the only thing my character has done outside of mass murdering has just been, like, basically being a living, like, a, a like, storage crate for, like, looting runs. Rev says if you're that unhappy, just get a new job. Jeez. I mean, it, ironically, my character probably could. I mean, the problem is that I made him, like, a slow learner. So if he were to do any other job, he'd be fucking terrible at it until he's good. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had rolled out fast learner on Roxy. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's going to be just short. Watch, it's going to be just short. Fucking 2984 out of 3,000. Hey, you know what? Fuck this. Ooh, I found a saw. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you're in the f yeah you're in the factory proper. Right yeah, now. I made it to the factory. I just pulled your screen out. Yeah, I'm not gonna get lost in here. I'm just gonna bounce. Um, the storage facility is a little further south, but then yeah, north is a. Hey, there we go. Level six carpentry, fucking unlocked. Jesus, goddamn Christ. Now I just need level seven, which is going to be what forty five hundred XP. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Um, all right, let's get that metal working going. <laughs> Soon, whole house is gone, but you're leveled. Beds are good XP. Yeah, they are, but, you know, I've disassembled most of them. <laughs> At least in the, in the general surrounding area. Um, let's see. I should go read that fucking book, too. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, fine. Fucking Roxy's not happy, just disassembling things, feeling a little fucking sad and bored and fucking... Eh. All right, let's see. I don't give a shit about that. Why am I even carrying that? Eat that. And then... Oh, shit, my bat just broke. Damn, these battle Tables bats are shit, in the lunchroom. Duly noted. Um, but first, very bored. Yeah, <laughs> I have to. I have to entertain Roxy for a bit. I'm back to the unarmed days, boys. All right. Well, fuck it. I guess I'm just walking. Entertainment shelf. Let's uh, let's read a comic book. And maybe a magazine after that. Lalat is asking if he could cheese beds by making them and then destroying them. Uh, probably. Just be re resource intensive, I'd imagine. Yeah, because you're going to lose resources. You're not going to get them all back. There's no guarantee. Um, it's, it's a roll. Bedding, bed. Yeah, six planks, four nails, uh, and a mattress. To build one, and you're not gonna you're not gonna get the mattress back. Yeah, no, it's it, you can't do it. It's not it's not a viable fucking strat. That is fair, Cassidy, but I'm also happy just like dragging the crowd away from the factory. Okay. Oh god, damn it! And let's take some more of that. And then... Hey, Kai, at this intersection, where am I headed? Um, uh, one sec. Oh, uh, wait, you're, yeah, you're left. Um, you did two, left. yeah, yeah. The, the straight out from the factory, like straight north is... Where, yeah, and then... Yeah, like that's, that's to your right is going to be probably... That was a gas station. Oh, here's something, there's something in the cooler. Um... I right. can munch on. Nothing. Okay. Well, 
Um, oh, all right. Yeah. I'm just going to eat one of those. Even though Roxy's on a diet, she can, she can splurge and have a chocolate bar. All right. Now. Fill that water bottle. Okay. Found the diner. All right. There should be. Oh, yeah. Two black vans. Yeah. Just search the parking lot for keys. Check in them. Fucking that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, fuck. All right. I need to find a weapon somewhere around here. To the fucking lunchroom to disassemble every table. Who is Roxana McCorkle? Don't know. Not one of my characters. Roxy is literally named Roxy. That is her, uh, her Christian given name. Um, so... Yeah, that's that's not one of mine. And besides, Roxy's only ever um, this is just Roxy Junior. I've only ever had one death, which still pisses me off. Oh, time to kill a fucking horde with a single screwdriver. Wouldn't be the first time. There's plenty of planks in that, like storage and factory. You can fucking go to town with a plank. True, but this is familiar territory. I'm already at the vans and shit. There's also an auto shop here. Nails and hammer, too. Can make a nailed plank. Yep. I'll just get you a new bat when you finally get back, though. For sure. Because I can manufacture spiked bats. I found the Tower of Babel on CD. Uh, nice. That uh, that actually from uh, the wholesome uh, the wholesome dead series that Rito and Wander and <clears throat> Orbital and a lot of them are doing. Um, I forget who it was. One of the characters got bitten and was turning. And he gave his, like, his worldly possessions. He goes, this is very important. I want you to have this. And I want, I want, you, to, I want you to pay attention to this. And he hands off a CD of uh, Bible, uh, Bible lessons to one of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> and so he honored his wishes and f fucking played it. It was like walking around. They're like, what are you listening to? And he's like, uh, this was, I forget who it was. This is his Bible quotes. Oh. <laughs> uh. Do the CDs actually work if you have, like, a CD player or something? Yeah. They do the same thing yeah. as VHS tapes and stuff like that. I mean, like, do you hear anything, though? Nah, you hear... You see text on the screen, and you sort of hear a... Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, simlish. I mean, this is obviously a very Sims-inspired game. Um, all right, so I wonder what gave you that impression. All right, so I, can we I, turn I this on? Something. There we go. Now, do these disassemble coat rack? These are all carpentry? These are all carpentry. All right, cool. I don't give a shit about that. Well, while I'm here. Yeah, let's okay. Just disassemble in. all this shit. <clears throat> you know what's fucked up? I think I lost the horde. Hey, well, you know, give you plenty of time to check for keys and shit like that in the parking lot and see if the vans have them and stuff like that. Holy shit, vans I found a 9mm pistol. Off. We'll take it. We got a weapons closet. It's so in a little do boy's the... room. <laughs> of course. So what should what should one do if both the vans are locked? A smash a window. <sighs> Right click. How does one smash uh, Just uh, hold V near it. Hold V. And then there you go. I, there's something in a crate called, or a, a closet called a mysterious object, and it's got a question mark. I do not know. 
from Green F- Green Fire mod. Oh, all right. Well, then it's gonna be weed of so- it's gonna be drugs of some sort. I'll take that lighter. Uh, rosewood map tissue. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Nothing. Okay. Left one's a dud. Let's see what's going on here. Apparently, if I want to unravel the mystery, I have to use it with a bong. <laughs> okay, so both both cars do not have uh, keys inside of them. That's a shame. All right, one of these days when I get the levels up, we can fucking hotwire them. Oh, is that just like a mechanics thing? It's Yeah, it's a thing. Carpentry. All right, that's carpentry. That's fucking. These are all carpentry. The driver's side. I don't give a shit about fucking carpentry. Like that's not. Oh man, I was hoping these were metal and I could fucking get my mechanics, uh, my metal work up off of these. These are all just carpentry. Again, I don't give a shit about this. Okay. Um, Both cars are unlocked now. All right. What about lockers? Lockers are all metal. Come on. Yes. All right. Fucking taking lockers. What is a fitness contraption? It's a fitness contraption. <laughs> um. It is eye candy at current uh, use, but it will. It is speculated that it's going to be some kind of workout equipment that you can use with darbell, uh, barbells and dumbbells later on, but not yet. And that is speculation. So, all right, I'm going to clear this diner and see if it's in there. Ease. Well, I found a magazine that teaches me advanced mechanics, but I can't find a magazine that teaches me basic mechanics. Oh, we have that back at the fucking place. No, not not a book, a magazine that teaches basic mechanics. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're, you're after that. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm after... I'm, I'm looting for... Uh, specifically prioritizing no. recipe magazines. No, Astral, this isn't... This isn't... This is moist. Roxy is sweating. She's not dehydrated. She's sweating. And by the way, these are called Moodles. For anybody who doesn't know Zomboy, these, these, the name of these fucking status icons is they are Moodles. Does not seem like the diner has the keys to the cars. Yep, that's a shame. Oh, for fuck's There's sake. a mechanic shop like right down, like right down the way. So I'm gonna check there. Yeah, that's the the car, the auto body place, fucking that I raided for like car parts and shit like that. Didn't see the keys in there either. Yeah, it's hmm. just it's just a hot wire job. Fair enough. Man, I feel so naked without a bat. <laughs> Even though I've killed far more zombies without one than I did with one. Um, I mean, pray, no worries. Is what it is. Yeah, burglar automatically starts with the ability to do shit like that. And Preceptor's just saying, like, oh, I thought we probably already had a burglar, so I didn't do one. Um, but yeah. Yeah, we we have not been like min maxing roles. We've we've just been like making whatever characters. Oh my god! It just oh god! All right, well, again. <laughs> Well, normal lockers. <laughs> yeah, found the Bible readings, yeah. CD Bible readings, Genesis. Yep. 
Ah, yes, I get to do one of my most favorite snacks ever. Just straight up eating peanut butter out of a jar. Uh, you'll, I think you'll enjoy the CD Bible readings. Genesis, the, the Bible readings of Genesis on CD is listed as a category of junk. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I mean, I agree. I mean, frankly, I, that I think even like some of the most diehard Christians out there in the zombie apocalypse would agree. Well, well Lada, um, if I showed you how big this map is and how many gas stations and cars and gas there is, it it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. The Louisville portion of this map alone is staggeringly big. Um, yeah. You tried. Uh, every once in a while, I like to look at the map and have an existential crisis. Yeah. Uh, Scaff said, I tried ble drinking bleach earlier today in game. Yep. 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 That's, uh, that, uh, that'll, that'll kill your character. Not instantly, but it will kill your character. Speaking of which, I got a bottle of bleach on me. Yeah, we got a bunch back of the house. We, uh, yeah, it's always good to grab. Yeah, I found a few. How do you tell the name of a zombie? Um, you'll get a, a key ring off of them. Oh, okay. Then I found a zombie that looked like a player, but it doesn't have a key ring. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. All right. I'm running back home. Because fuck, fuck fighting hordes of zombies without a bat. I've done it a bunch. Alright, let's see. Maybe two, three more of these. I think maybe two. And then metalworking two will be done. And then I need to go back to the fucking house and read carpentry. I don't know, what is that? Beginner, intermediate, fucking I don't know, expert or some shit. I don't fucking know what I need to read. But either way, I need to read one of the fucking <laughs> carpentry ones, and I need to read one of the metalworking ones. I need to read intermediate for metalworking. Or I will. What do we got? 120 out of 150? Oh, it's going to be a few more than that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a few more. All right. Uh, read a comic, Roxy. Read a comic and stop complaining. And I'm going to have to fight for these melee levels. Uh-huh. So, even with a three times multiplier, taking down a fucking uh, locker is only 7.5 XP, I think. Jesus. Well, at least there's a fuckload of lockers there. So, two more. Two more, and I will have that second metalworking level... Why do you need a propane torch to disassemble a toilet? Because this, because as well as this game models reality, the fucking um, devs are programmers, not like anything else. <laughs> you can tell. They've never shot guns. They've never fucking swung a baseball bat. They've never, like, yeah. Like, you can tell that they have attempted to model these things, but when it comes to nuanced details of, like, how exactly do you dis dis uh, disassemble a fucking uh, a toilet, they have no idea. I found a guitar. Nice. All right. Can well, it actually be used to play music, or is it only a weapon? Oh, it may only be a weapon, or I don't know. It could be used to play music. I guess music we'll have to find out. Um, all right, so let's just go back here. Go back here. Well, I'm about to recreate the ending of a Who concert. Nice. Nice. There's a mod to play guitars, Prices. Oh, okay. that's kind of cool. So, there you go. No. 
Oh, we'll just do some sprinting here. Uh, this is... Oh Sorry. shit, I took the wrong road, but I need to fill in the map anyways. Uh, yeah, I just found one of our... Oh yeah, whoever this was, fucking... Dude, this looks like one of Cat's people. Um, fucking Sheldon Pippin. Um, I've I've long stopped keeping fire, track of my characters. Firefighter names. pants, but tons of fucking food, all rotten now. It's been wandering around for a while. That might have been me. Um, I'll take what the, weapon was it carrying? Um, an M14 rifle. Okay, that wasn't not me. me. Yeah, I have yet to fire a single weapon or carry them. All right, I'm gonna do some sprinting here to level that. Well, I need to find a way to forget realities. So, we got anything back at the base for that? Oh yeah, we got plenty of that. What is this moderate exertion? Yeah, deal with it. Fitness level ten is a hundred percent worth it. Yeah, I'll take a character that can actually learn something. <laughs> I mean, okay, to be fair, it's 30% slower. Like, slow learner. It's actually not that... It's not as big as a hit as I thought it'd be. I could, in know, the words of Rev, just get a new job. Yeah. It, it, it is within the cards. Yeah, this like, you know how long it fucking takes to, like, grind some of this XP? Fucking one. I'm just saying, like, longer? if I really yes. wanted to fucking grind, be worth it. Yeah, hard pass on that. Uh, all right. Well, pop it over. Let's see. I'm not sure. Rev said, I'm not sure how I feel about being vindicated here. <laughs> Okay, who did the gnomes? Was not your boy. Gnomes? That feels... Oh, what the fuck? There's now gnomes in the house. Oh, I've been carrying a propane tank around with me, too. Um, it was prey. Um, all right, let's see. So the propane tank is listed as like crafting. All right. Drop the potatoes back in there. All right. There's that. Uh, potatoes can go in the freezer. And Sheldon Pippin, I have been keeping. When I get key rings, I keep them. Um, okay. So there's all that. Now I just need to do the thing with the thing. Found a portable radio. Any um, reason why we would want it? Um, I mean, you can get it. Um, whoever is, uh, just so you guys know, there is a difference between the, like, some of the shelves with all the books and stuff and that sort of thing. That's not, there, there is in fact a logic to this. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. Let's do all that, that. All right. Um, entertainment stuff goes over here. Comic book, magazine, that sort of thing. And which magazine were you after? You were after... Um, oh, basic mechanics. Basic mechanics. Um... 
Got it. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah. I just found a uh, magazine called How to Use Generators. We have it, um, but it is something you definitely need to read. So if you've got a minute, feel free to read it. Bring home an extra just in case. All right, farming and fishing. Farming for intermediates is already in there. And then fishing for beginners goes over there. That's a duplicate. Um, no, no, not in particular, but if you want to bring one, by all means, um, we've already got a pair of gener uh, generators, um, but you know, we'll, we'll end up picking up and moving base eventually. So, all right, in case anybody needs a pen, those can go in there. Oh, wait, hang on. I already carry a pen on that side, so that's that. All right, now, back to what I was doing. I need... I think that's expert. Expert carpentry? I think that's what I need. All right, I'll grab it. And then I need... Metalworking for intermediates, which we have three. Duplicates do not go in the stack. They go in the overflow. And then the maps can go over here. All right. Metalworking for intermediates. There we go. All right. Uh, and then... Why would you move? Because there's so many more. Uh, there's two more generators in the backyard. Thank you, Prey. Holy shit. So we have four generators now. Um, oh, and Preceptor, in case you ever need to do any leveling, um, fucking, uh, we have a sit to read faster mod on the server. So. Oh. Um, which would help if I actually fucking read while I'm sitting here. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's... So I'm worried... Yeah, I'm officially working on expert carpentry now. Nice. Uh, uh, first fucking level. Level 7, I'll be able to build, like, fucking full-on rain barrels and shit like that. Um, then I'm going to do metalworking for intermediates here. Um... Let's see. What kind of multipliers that get me in the end? I'm guessing maybe nine, ten. Have we always had these pink flamingos? Yes. Yes, that's. I don't know why I'm just now noticing that. That's how I get you guys to learn where we are. <laughs> okay. What house? Pink flamingos. Yep, Caleb is just chilling here. All right, so which of these containers do mag educational magazines go into? Okay, so the magazines. Uh, I found it. Yeah, are next to it on the shelf. And then the one you want is the Lane's Auto Manual Standard Models. Thank you. I have returned. Um, and then... I don't mind if I just wash the zombie blood off of me in the kitchen sink, right? That's fine. It was funny watching the fucking Wholesome Dead. Fucking Avik just fucking goes, well, you know, you guys have all seen it before. And he just walks into the room in his fucking underwear, completely naked. He's taken off his fucking clothes and put them in the, the washing machine. And he's like, he's just walking around the house naked now. He's like, yeah, you know, this is what it is. You guys are used to it, right? In that weird fucking Welsh British accent that Avik has. It's absolutely, Amazing. you can't fucking place his accent because it's from multiple places, but 
honestly, it's a gorgeous accent, but you're like, what the fuck is that accent? <laughs> right. So I'm going to place the mysterious object on one of the goodie shelves. Okay. It's apparently it's if you wanna, some kind of drug. If you want to get some mechanics, repair the metal bit. Uh, that's not mechanics. I don't think. Is it not? That's maintenance. Yeah, well, shit. Either way. Um, I'll look into it, though. Where should I put bleach? Under the sink. Never mind, it won't fit on the shelf. Uh, next to it, there's a cabinet on the floor to your left um, that will have, like, some goodies in it. Go for that. That's the overflow. How about a, how about a plank? Where does that go? That goes out in the garage. Look, okay. look for the, the three stacks. All right. And then just plank goes in whichever one. Small that metal sheet. In. All right. Okay. I need a small metal sheet. I don't know if we have one, but if we have one. I can give you a small metal sheet. I got one. All right. Um, all right. And repair. I'm pretty sure. Brother Bats. All right. Um, here, cat. Um, it's 50% repaired. If you want a backup bat, come over here into the, the hidden storage closet. It's basically hidden due to weird geometry. Um, and then on the shelf, scroll down and find baseball bats. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and I'll make some more in case we need them. Um, all right, so carpentry. You never have enough. Carpentry is getting a 12 multiplier now, um, and metalworking is getting a 5 multiplier. Do you have the most important box unsorted? Oh, well, Lada, let me show you the neighbor's garage. Here is. Here Everyone is, wants that backpack. Here's the neighbor's garage. <laughs> um. As you can see, there's a variety of objects involved from hand axes and suspension types to garbage bags to wire to mac and cheese to duct tape stacks to tortilla chips to, yeah, so. Yeah, this, this is the neighbor's garage. You know what, I'll take those seeds though. I'll take that as well. What else we got? Uh, I'll take all that shit. That's fine to stay. Uh, you know what? Fucking. Yep, that's good. Uh, might as well. I'm here. Start taking a little something back and sort it a little bit. You know, more seeds. A bunch of. Oh, no. Pepper. I thought I saw pepper four times. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, it is. It's 20 bucks. Um, all right. Now. Who? Who the fuck? Oh, shit. I'm still severely depressed. All right. How? How are you? And who's putting bacon and eggs in the fucking cabinet? You fucking morons thought bacon was okay to put in a cabinet. It's like cured right, though, because that means it won't spoil. Yeah, right. Sliced bacon. All right, put the can stuff and the can overflow. Yeah, that's what I've learned from like playing some of these multiplayer games. <laughs> with, with some y'all is like, holy shit, we could not be roommates. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> All 
Uh, you're going to organize an HOA for this gated neighborhood? Uh, fucking green light on Preceptor. Uh, nice. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you organize a f fucking HOA in the zombie apocalypse? Homie, you're dead. <laughs> That's, that won't go over well. Oh. We are armed and there will be no one coming to help you. <laughs> All right, seeds on the shelf. Oh, the pepper, pepper. Um, where have I been? Huh. Oh, those are. Oh. We got more uncooked. Well, I paintings. just read my way out of depression. Yep, that'll that'll do that. Oh, oh. not quite yet. All right, there we go. Oh, magic pancakes, magic pancakes. Dude, I'm surprised reading the newspaper doesn't make you more depressed. Well, I mean, at this rate, how much more depressing can anything get? Right. Well, I mean, like reading like a remnant of the old world that was like, you know, a little like slice in time as to how good it was you do realize I imagine that it's not have you ever read a newspaper before <laughs> it's actually well, i'm saying like uh, okay like, i'm just fucking saying so here's like, the deal the in-game lore is this is an isolated this is the knox county incident they, they have us cordoned in oh uh, okay it is not a global catastrophe it is a regional uh localized catastrophe jesus fucking christ I'm just dropping shit on the fucking ground. The fucking school bag, a rolling pin, a screwdriver, a fucking radio. I swear to God, I live with fucking animals. Um, place I The zombie apocalypse quarantined? Effectively, yeah. But I guess we're just kind of left to die. Well, all right, school bag goes in here. Um, so does, I suppose, technically, you know what? I'll put the rolling pin where it actually fucking belongs. Uh, I'm going to thin the herd in our backyard right now. I mean, in our backyard. Like the the one the motherfuckers that we've led into like the the neighborhood before hopping the fence. All right, fair enough. Yeah. All right, um, what was my carrying that I picked up? Fucking, I don't need. Oh, there was the screwdriver. Where are you doing that, cat? I'll just come join you. Straight out uh, back. I don't know. I'm looking for them. Oh no! I want that saw back. Give me that saw back. Also, I do agree with that wither. Just, you know. Um, yeah, right. I, I saw a horde of zombies, and they're just gone now. Okay, there we go. And do that. Yeah, Preceptor has apparently got the uh, fast re fast reading perk as well. So, like, sitting... Yeah, yeah, they, they straight up said, fucking fast reading in this reading mod is great. Just fucking, yep. Um, all right, so I've got that leveled. I've got the carpentry working on the next level. I've got metalworking and mechanics. Let's see. Um, we don't really need to do any of that fence. Okay. So, okay. So the sandbags can be used to create a sandbag wall. Got it. And the gravel bags, the gravel bags are for a heavy duty, temporary defense wall. All right. Got it. Um, barbed wire. And there we go. Right back to being depressed. Jesus fucking Christ.
Your character's... Fu- I'm telling you, take a fucking antidepressant. Nah, I'm toughing it out at this point. We smoke a fucking joint. <laughs> All right, there's that. Yeah, I'm fine with them. I'm fine with the fucking gnomes. Uh, the gnomes are funny. I'll, I'll, let's see. All right. Got all that. Got all that. Now I just need to downpour again. I need another rain. My scepter's asking if I got the lockpick magazine yet. No. Uh, yeah, no, we do not. And if you find it, fucking let us know. Um, rain collector barrel. Yes, tainted water. Unsafe for drinking, sterilized by boiling in an oven or over a fire. Which, if you put the rain barrel above, like, on second story, and then you plumb in a sink beneath it, it automatically becomes untainted somehow. Um... That sounds about right. Yeah. Magic. Muscle bound with depression. Definitely a Jordan Peterson viewer. Yeah, pretty much. Um, all right. So let's look at. Oh, I guess I'm just doing laps around the neighborhood now. I saw a fucking horde in here. They just. It's gone, I guess. All right. I want. This and then uh, grab it. Um, all right. Now, hey, okay. I'm fertilizing our weed crop. Because I found a bag of fertilizer, MPK fertilizer, uh, at fucking the storage facility. <laughs> so, um, are there any Tony Robbins VHS tapes? <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Info. Okay, so the fertilizer, a bag of fertilizer is good for three plots. Jesus Christ. Um, done. I should. Cassie said I'm shocked it went that far. Uh, let's see. Carrots. Let's take a carrot pack. A uh, potato pack. A uh, radish pack. Ooh, and some strawberries. Um. Yeah. Oh, apparently there's a mod that lets you see where, like, other people are on the map. That'd be convenient. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, okay. I subscribe to it, so it will eventually be a part of the playthrough. Eventually. Thank fuck. That would make things a, that actually would make things a fuckload easier. Holy shit. Have we really not cleared out like the whole burbs yet? No. Oh. All right. Um. All right. What seeds? Oh Jesus Christ! Who is it? Oh, hey, Preceptor. All right. Oh, that's why. All right. These all need to get moved into my front pocket. All right. We'll start alphabetically. Let's just open. What? What? Open. Not drop. 
All right. Um, so the carrots. I got a hole. I got a hole in my shoe. And so the carrots. Cat just scared the hell out of me. Was looking at Discord and thought it was a zombie about to attack me as we ran past. Yeah. Um, Nearly swung on him too. <laughs> That was a very lethal situation. He was just. A... <laughs> well, we luckily keep PvP turned off by default, so. Yeah. That would be funny, though. Just brain him with one shot. Okay. Ah! Dead. Yeah. Uh, looking. All right. Potatoes. Potatoes. I think we use four for those. All right. Fair enough. Got four levels in sprinting. All right. Let's see. Dig a furrow. Oh, for fuck's sake. There. Yeah, you know, I guess what I'll do is I'll clear out some of the factory. I mean, the factory is fairly well cleared. Oh, there's like still like some hordes hanging around, so might as well thin those numbers. All right, radishes and radishes. What else am I sitting on? Okay, so then strawberries. Uh, dig a furrow there. After I'm done watering these plants. I think we call it there. Okay. Um, seed, strawberry. It'd be real cool if we could have like straight up like, like if we could just make like a little like farming paradise in the middle of the of the burbs. I mean, we really can use these backyards. Yeah. Um, all right, where's my watering can? There's my watering can. It does not take this long to pick up a fucking watering can. It's got a handle. Why is tailoring a skill? Homemade skirts better than stolen. I mean, yeah, but I mean, tailoring is a fucking skill. Like, <laughs> that's, there's, there's some things that in this game, I, I argue that like should not be a skill that you can just do. Do tailoring is a fucking skill. Let's see. Water that. All right. Fucking water. Info. All right, well watered. Cool. Oh, God damn it. Have you been playing this game this entire time just to drive home your point about community gardening? I mean, no. And hurt. Ooh. You know that fucking, like, little pizzeria place? Mm-hmm. I just found out, like, the, the like, van for said place is in, it, in the parking lot. And it's unlocked. Does it have keys? Oh, we got a van. Does it have keys oh, and gas? We already have a van. No, we got another one. A new one. That's oh. Spiffo van key. All no right. gas, though. Uh, well, we can gas it up. Yeah. So, Ma yeah, just... Uh, found a car with a key, no gas, north of the church. Oh, nice. Uh, mark them on your maps when you find those. Like, take the key. Or it, put the key. You know what? Don't take the key. Put, yeah, keys in the glove compartment in the van. Keys in the glove compartment, and then mark it on your map. Yeah, I just tried the Spiffo van just to see if it would open. It was unlocked. Some fucking part-time worker was just like, yeah, I'm not dying for these fucking people. <laughs> I mean, good on them. <laughs> the fuck out, man. It's just a fucking pizza <laughs> delivery gig. Who gives a fuck? Get the fuck out. Oh, we got another one. 
there's a there's a little like blue car in front of the pizzeria that also has a fucking that also has the keys in the glow compartment. Dude, what the fuck? How do we not notice these? So we haven't been looking for those specifically. Like only recently have we been going for vehicles. Yeah. All right. Um, the only problem with these is that like no gas, no gas in both of them, but you know, they're there. Okay, so I need Jesus Christ, I don't know if those go off. Do this or not, but we'll see. I may have to do some trips inside. Get these plants I watered. I'm make, I think I'm gonna make my way back home because I'll remember that. Fuck, do I have a pen on my map? I forgot to bring a pen. Kai, do yourself a favor and just mark like two, just put like two car things on the fucking Where are you? pizzeria. Um, show me your map. Oh, no. Oh, it's, you're at Spiffo's. Okay. Right. Yeah, Spiffo's. All right. Yeah, Spiffo's got two cars. Yeah, like thereabouts. Good enough. I marked two. And then one. Yeah, just fuck it. I marked two. So we're good. Yeah. And yes, I, I see your. Oh, I, you know what? Fucking. You're all right. You're all right with me, Prey. Uh, pray. Fucking Preceptor comes, fucking puts a gnome right where I'm working, but then drops some weed at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to apologize. Here's, here's, here's a fucking creepy gnome to watch after you, but here's some weed to make it even weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't think I'd be able to get high in the apocalypse, to be frank with you. I think it'd be a couple of years before I'd start, like smoking regularly i could smoke light i wouldn't be able to like i'd have a i'd have a limit there's we yeah go. i wouldn't be able to get i'd never like trust myself to be stoned yeah like, properly stoned no fucking not not now there's a bunch of rotten food in one of these like a like a department store yeah eventually we'll start like okay we're out of fucking rainwater now god damn it um Five minutes later, you're convinced that the gnome is staring at you. Yeah, like straight up. <laughs> uh, one of these days, we'll we'll start collecting that that sort of stuff to like create compost. Cass Cassie said I'd have to be locked in a panic room. Also, what's it called? It's not just uh, I found some canned food and shit there too. So, you know, either way. All right, let's fucking fill these containers. And um, oh hey, who is this? Hey cat. Oh hey, Aspen. It's Aspen. Watch out! Watch out! Don't fuck that up. Uh, My heart skipped a beat when I saw you miss that. Do you got a jerry can on you? No. Ah fuck. All right, there's that. How clear this place, you? I've been here before. There's not much loot right. in these suites. Water this. Two in the backyard. What? What in the backyard? Oh, the fucking. Oh, yeah. Two cherry. Yeah. Like that's a ways away. Um, fucking. But yeah. No, pretty, not that far. You know, fuck it. I'll, I'll make the sprint. Pr uh, oh, Hable. Fucking. Dude, we bit. I got. I got a lot of hours in this game at this point. Like, yeah. No. Um, yeah, 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 we got two generators and two gas cans in the backyard. So if each one of you fucking grabs a, a, a gas can, like, have at it. Um, all right, water levels are fine. Yeah, I'm just going to sprint. I'm just going to sprint back home. So how do I get gas from the, the pump? Do I, just is there, right, like, just, just a siphon it, option? Yeah, just put it in your fucking inventory and right click it. Okay. Yeah. 
You want the Spiffo van first or just the regular car? I want the Spiffo van because the vans have more inventory and also Spiffo. Fair enough. I am, I am so glad that I've just gone just the meat-headed, like, athletic barbarian build. Uh, well, a lot of they should be fine. Um, you actually have to leave your uh, generators outside anyway. God, I love the fact yeah, that people learn that the monoxide way. and shit. <laughs> All right. Um. Right. Apparently, my character is agitated. in it not much in it you know what the bottles of water can go in my backyard back pocket um all right fill just fill them all all right jesus christ there you go all right this is the thirsty. Really? Alright, so last two. Cool. Water. <laughs> A lot of chastising fucking uh uh Come fucking pre again. preceptor. If you didn't carry three gnomes, you might have been able to carry them further. Um <laughs> uh, so how much is the zombie co-op game reinforcing the ideas of mutual aid autonomism for you uh, for y'all? I mean, these types of games, like I, I, if I would not play with somebody who was griefing people and you wanted to do your own like PVP and your own solo shit, like that's just uh, go play some other game then, <laughs> or don't play with me. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. That's not like this game is stupid and it, like difficult enough. Right? Like, there's no need to fucking make it harder like that. Uh, drop this as well. Cool. Um, all right. So I can return the seeds. Right, I got the gas. I got the gas cans, by the way. I'll, I'll report back. All right. Seeds can all go on that. Um, some weed to go on the shelf. Um, is right. there a bathroom at the gas station? Um, yes. Okay, cool. Because just a little sip of water, a little wash off. That's what my character needs. All right. That's well watered. I'm just going to randomly select here. What am I doing? Well watered. Well watered. Well watered. Have we made any spears yet? No, but higher level crafting ability with those spears apparently is a really uh, good thing. Like, they can put in work. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see how a spear works. Um, okay, so garden is planted even further. The game would go from regular zombie apocalypse to actual Dark Souls. Like, yeah. Um, how are you fucking... Oh, because it's in your bag, right? Oh, interesting. Bottles of water. Also, to be frank, like early game people just like beating the shit out of each other and looting each other also just wouldn't net too much reward. The only time it'd be worth it to like raid people would literally just be like faction wars and shit where people are already established and it would take like a fuckload of well, mutual aid to even get to that point to begin with. Um, grab one. Let's wash the dirt off. Um... Is there like a fucking sprinting book or something shit? No. Magazine? Fitness book? I don't know. I was hoping. How to run? Have you tried walking twice at the same time? Yeah. I mean, you'd be surprised at how basic some people need fitness advice. I mean, to be fair fair is a long time fucking runner dude it, most people's form is shit 
No, it's completely horrible. No, like most people like will give themselves like chronic like ankle and like knee injuries without even like thinking about it. Yeah, but I could see Faction Wars as a game being cool because there's already a backdrop of story. Then, oh, dude, Wither, if you are interested in like that sort of shit, um, check out Stone like the Stoneworks Minecraft servers. Because basically what those are, are basically servers where you can make like a, like nations and shit inside of Minecraft. And they have people with like different, like real life political ideologies and shit. They have to have governments and all that sort of shit. There's authoritarian dictatorships, there's fucking monarchies, there's anarchism. Like they, they have like the whole fucking thing. And they have like this massive fucking wiki that catalogs everything, you know, every single faction war, every sort of trade dispute, all that sort of bullshit inside the inside the fucking server. It's cool as fuck. That's like something you're interested in. Also, if you want to learn how to hate people all over again, go play Rust. Yes. If you if also you, if you, you want to see, never yeah, trust another what, human, yeah. Yeah. If you also want to see what like a sociopath's like a uh, Stoneworks Minecraft server, yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah, and also if you want to see, like, what sociopaths are like, just just play Ark for, like, five minutes. Like, that game is literally just a sociopaths, like, simulator. And... Oh, shit, I almost poured gas in the ground. There we go. Alright. Yes, my character's fit enough to sprint with the gas can. Um, alright, I think that's, like, everything that needs doing... Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna fill up the thing, the fucking the van. Uh, I'm just gonna wait on uh, the Spiffo van. Yeah. To get back. Add gasoline. Yeah. The fuck? Why'd my whole HUD disappear? Uh, press V. Just tap it. No, no, no. You're gonna have to back away from the vehicle after it fills. Oh, okay. It's doing a thing. Now, just tap V. Okay, thank fuck, Jesus. Yeah. That got me scared. Yeah, the, the, just tapping V at any time, not interacting with, like, a vehicle, just hides your HUD. Um, alright. How does one start a car again? Uh, if you've got the key, get in, make sure the key is in the ignition, press the, uh, you can either, like, press the W key, just repeat, but cl uh, click on the engine symbol, and that'll fucking turn it over. I have the key. Do I have? Does the key have to be on my person? Of Just to be does. in the ignition. There we go. We got a spiffle van. Nice. Nice. Let's see. Hang on. Um. Where should I put the gas can? By the way, now that it's done being used. Um. We'll. Um. You know what? We'll keep it around somewhere. Oops. That's that. I didn't want to do that. There you guys can see that. That's so they can see you driving back. Yes. Here's hoping I don't fucking like horrifically crash this thing. Yeah, some dude, some dude saw the writing on the wall and was just like, yeah, fuck this van. Fuck this job. I'm good. Where were the keys? Just in the glove compartment. There you go. Yeah, he's like, fuck it for the next guy who wants it. <laughs> Whoever fucking wants I mean, I do have the shit. Sunday driver perk will auto. My character is canonically bad at driving. Yeah. Or at the very least drives like a grandma. Um Ooh no. Yeah, I did those burpees and then I went out one night <laughs> the next day. Cause it's the next day that the fatigue kicks in and I was fine. And then I went out and fucking, I'm like, what is going on? Oh, that's right. And I just had fatigued everything because I did an hour's worth of burpees. Yep. Swivel van looks like Shaggy's van from uh, from a distance. I can see that. Similar color scheme, all that shit. That's the mystery mobile. Yeah. Not Shaggy's van. It's the mystery mobile. Oh, shut the fuck up. All right. Oh, what happened to the white van? Where's that at? I mean. Oh, uh, yeah, I crashed that. Ooh. 
What do you mean well, you crashed it? Where is it? It is north. It's got, like, a gas can in the fucking trunk that we kind of want and need. Okay. Oh, where is the front gas can and I can go and grab a car? Uh, Speaking of which, where do I put these? What? The gas cans. Um, oh, shit. If I can put them in the garage. Okay. Just drop them, like, in the corner or something like that. Like, you know. Yeah, over by the Jenny. Okay, cool. Isn't Fred's van on top? I have no fucking yeah, clue, dude. Tomorrow on Proudly Radical. Driver's trading, apparently. So is it like, is the fucking van like totaled? No. I bet it just needs a little bit of work. Because, like, there's a full tank of gas in that thing. You know what, Sunday, you know what, here's, that's kind of the best way to advocate for the Sunday driver perk. Just, you know, harder to crash a van if you can't drive it that fast. Yeah, I'm gonna need right. to, I'm gonna need to know on a map where that van is so we can retrieve it. Because I'm about the only one that could probably work on it, too. Alright, gas cans are in the garage. Oh, sorry. Wrong one entirely. There you go, nonsense. We were just getting Kai reaction stream. Yeah, well. Guys, we're playing games, I swear. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you can probably see my screen. I'm sharing it, Kai. And you can see on the map where I'm at, uh, where the van is. Uh, where? I don't see your cursor, just so you know. Uh, it's the car on the upper left-hand side. It's Mark. all the fuck way up there? Yeah. All right. That's that curve. And then, Jesus Christ. All right. Um, somewhere up here ish. It could be your bodyguard for that eventual mission that we have to go on. This is, Cat, this is why we don't let the kids have the fucking vehicles. Yes. They're, they're just irresponsible. They go out joyriding, they fucking wreck it, and they don't even tell us that they wrecked it and they just left it by the side of the road somewhere. I'm gonna get I am kind of of the opinion that if we're going to use the vehicles, we should like reserve them for like envoy type of shit where we need just the extra storage space. Um, then again, that's because I can sprint everywhere and not have to worry in right. the slightest. So bias. Is, is everybody hey. back that needs to be back? Is there? I'm chilling inside the base. Okay. Is everybody at a point where they're good to quit? Uh, No, I need to get back to the base. Okay. Okay, cool. I was out disassembling random cars to increase my uh, mechanic skill. I get that. I'm hoping broken cars. Bro, yeah, broken cars. There's like the condition was like nine percent. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, fuck them. Huh? Pop satiates hunger. Yeah, just hunger and thirst. And happiness. That didn't do a dent in my depression. <laughs> Again, do I need to, like, shove antidepressants into your fucking character's mouth like a goddamn cat? Yeah, I need, I, I, I straight up need to be, like, fucking, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, need an involuntary, involuntary hold here. Fucking A, here. I mean, <laughs> here is, here is a, a full bottle of antidepressants. It's on the fucking ground. Here, hang on. On the ground. And there you go. Should be on the ground. Okay, there we go. Oh, boys. Here's hoping to the... Fir here's uh, the first path to uh, recovery for me. Right. And like, my character. It, here, here, is, here is a gut, and here is the other thing you need. There you are. Um, fucking here's a chocolate bar. 
right? Take some antidepressants and eat a candy bar and fucking <laughs> Jesus, goddamn Christ! All right, there's caboose. Didn't even do a dent. That chocolate bar didn't do shit. <laughs> it's negative ten to unhappiness. So you're, you're in deeper than that. <laughs> um. All right. Cat's gonna turn into a fucking basket case. I mean, turn <laughs> yeah. into. I mean, I kind of already am. Yeah. I spend literally all my time just slaughtering zombies and doing random odd job quests. All right. Um. I feel all you guys log out first. That way, I know this game doesn't fuck. You know, blah blah blah. Reasons be safe. That sort of thing. My depression's even worse now. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, cat. Alright. I will I will never find happiness in the zombie apocalypse, I guess. Um alright, let me do this and this and this over here. It'd be it'd be great if it fucking snapped. There we go. Wrong prescription. Yeah, we'll we'll cycle you a few times. We'll get you on, you know, maybe Zoloft next time. Um, yeah, I was about to say, it's only a matter of time before you just prescribe me a mega dose of Zoloft. <laughs> uh, exit that. Um, all right, close that. Is that really? Oh, okay, that's me. Yeah, duh. Fucking Jesus Christ. All right. Um, yeah, for those of you who want to join us, it's gonna be a fucking uh, it's gonna be a late night. But um, fucking, we'll we'll do some bad movies after this. We'll probably only do two tonight, uh, based off of uh, hide hide some Seroquel and a bit of cheese. Um, we'll do we'll do probably two movies after after this. If you guys want to join us in Discord, um, we do bad movie night after after Friday night streams. So uh, yeah, if you're here from Zomboid, ah uh, yeah, no worries, pray. Um, fucking catch you tomorrow i guess uh if you're here from zomboid hi um fucking we know i'm normally a pol politics streamer but you're gonna see me on your fucking uh, your category more uh otherwise the rest of you see you in voice chat or i'll see you on monday or you know whatever either way not gonna raid you out you can make your own big boy big girl and big envy decisions for yourselves as to where you want to end up after this uh either way y'all have a good one catch you later